stories that are going to transform our lives, stories that are going to change our lives. And I really, really want you to brace up. Sorry for those of you who couldn't join. We are going to live stream it on Facebook so that all those who couldn't join, they can join us on Facebook. So I beg you, tell your team who couldn't come here. Unfortunately, my, my package, I, I couldn't upgrade it. It's just 300 people. Okay, I will upgrade it from now. You know, um, tell them, go on Facebook, go to my page, Solomon Wealth Ababio. Solomon Wealth Ababio Ajima. They can see the, 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 the live streaming. Let's go wild and listen to me. Long reach is time to dominate in Africa. It's time to manifest. It's time for you and me to be relevant. I mean, the only company that is currently building a manufacturing plant in Africa for Africans. To God be the glory, we are here with our mama. Mama Titi is here. Very soon I'm going to introduce her. Vivian Mokome, billionaire Vivian, all the way from South Africa, number one. She's here. My son and my brother, Mr. Mac Senor, is here. He's going to also take us through a trail. But hey, why we are here is we don't want the times in which we are to destroy our business. Never. We don't want Corona to bring our PVs low. Never. We don't want COVID-19 and the new world to, to, to damage our business. No. A lot of companies have died in Ghana. I don't want to mention names. I mean, network marketing companies. I don't want to mention names. Very prominent ones. Very, very prominent ones. They are gone still. So they have come stand still. So they can't do anything again. But hey, long reach. Long reach. Long reach. During this system, during these days, is actually uh, soaring higher and higher and higher and higher. So we are going to just take some few moments. And it's going to be a panel discussion. So please relax. Be very open-minded. We are going to have a nice session. We are going to hear from our number one in the world. If not in Africa, I mean, Madam Titi herself, I'm going to share, uh, I'm going to let her share some few things with us. And then Vivian as well, Vivian Mokome, I call it Bilone Vivian and Bilone Razdov. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to brace up. We are going to kick start officially in the next one minute. Before I, 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 I go, before I give you the slide, listen to this. You are the average of the five people you interact with. You are the average of the people you interact with. If you want to be great, work with great people. If you want to be average, work with average people. This evening, we are privileged to have great men and women here. I mean, you can't interact with um, Mama Titi, Vivian Mokome, and be the same. Never. So I beg you, tell your team who are not here or who want to come but is full to go on Facebook right now. Let them go and share. Let them go and watch. And we are going to take you them on the next level for our business. Let's go. Right.
that there was nowhere but up go. Because um, it was five, you were doing I kept trying to invent things. You know, I'm not D Dana White. And okay, right. Welcome, everyone, one more time. Welcome. So let's zoom into action. Let's zoom into action. Let's zoom into action. Before I, 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 I take you uh, through something that I think Mama Titi, myself, Vivian, Razdov, and other SDs, you know, um, know that most people don't know is success is never achieve, achieved overnight. We are all products of some pains, we are all product of some difficult things that we've gone through, and it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy at all. And um, I want us to appreciate the fact that everyone wants to be a star director, but behind every star director, there are scars. There are scars. So today, we are going to share, we're going to listen to the star director. What are their scars? Madam Titi, we are all celebrating her. I mean, she's a mortal millionaire, and she has scars. Vivian didn't just go to where she, has, she is now. She has scars. Okay, so I want us to just have an idea. What are some of the scars that they've had? But before that, listen to this. Um, there's something that I want you to see here that um, on my slide, if you can watch the slide. Okay, um, I, I, and I've written something here that having a strategy today make tomorrow meaningful. Okay, so it's very, very important. The reason why I want us to do this is to be meaningful tomorrow. And to be meaningful tomorrow, we need a strategy today. A strategy today. If you agree with me, just type strategy, strategy, strategy. Please, those of you whose downlines can't make it yet, tell them to go on Facebook, on my Facebook wall, Solomon Wealth or Solomon Ababio Ajimai. Let them begin to watch over there or even share. Okay, now listen to me. Having a strategy today make tomorrow meaningful is very, very crucial. And long reaches, look, the reason why we are where we are is that you guys are blessed with leaders who have strategy. Madam Titi has strategy. Vivian has strategy. All the leaders, SD Sheung, SD Happy, and all the other SD, they have strategies. That is why we have, we have survived the test of time. But we are privileged this uh, evening or afternoon in Ghana to speak to these um, four leaders. What is their strategy? What is making them different? And what is taking them to where they are? So I put here, I said, guiding each other to a place of relevance and trust. We don't just want to have strategy, but one strategy that will guide us all. Okay, long reach is not just about the product. I always tell people, it's not just about the product, it's about the people. Just write it, about the people. You can, we can get the best product in the world if the right people are not connected to no work. That is why, look, you can't fail under the umbrella of Madam Elsie, I mean, Madam uh, 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 Titi, Madam Emily, Madam Vivian, Madam Rich, uh, uh, Rita, and all those SDs. You can't fail under their leadership. Because these people have taken you to a place of relevance and trust. And that is what makes tomorrow meaningful. So, guys, I want you to brace up and be very, very expectant. It's very, very, very important. So, a quick one. Our business is PVs and relies on sales. Our business is PVs and, rel and, and PV relies on sales. Today, we are celebrating... Madam Titi, we are celebrating billionaire Razdov, we are celebrating Mama uh, Vivian, not because they are hard work, not because they are lucky, but because they are able to accumulate the necessary PVs. Long rich China doesn't respect anybody, they only respect your PVs. If they see your PVs, they respect you. If they see your PVs, they respect you. And I always tell myself, look, PV is not just about product sales, PV is about having a strategy. And for you to get PVs, you need to do what we call the reality, the reality of sales. So our business is PVs driven. And that is why we are here. So the objective of this meeting is to find out. So what are some of the things we need to do to put in place to get our PVs right, to get our PVs to go? And to do that, we have to build, we have to build and build and build ourselves. I tell people, look. Why, when you hear PV, stop thinking about product. It's about you, the person, personal value. When your value is up there, you can easily create the needed PVs. So, my people, I want us to go to the 
panels. Today is interaction. Okay, only four people will be speaking. So the rest just listen. Because if I, I unmute everybody, we will can't talk here. So I'm going to unmute the panels. I'm going to first of all give it to our number one, number one uh, in Africa, um, Madam Titi. Uh, in fact, Madam Titi, we want to say thank you so much. You know, today is Madam Titi's day of fellowship, uh, church, but she has to finish church and run and come and join us. Mama, we are privileged. We are blessed to have you here. We are very, very blessed. Now, Mama Titi, we want to just find out from you in just three minutes or four minutes, how has your journey so far been in Longridge? Your journey so far. We all know Madam Titi is a one. Everybody celebrating Madam Titi. And we anytime we see Madam Titi, it's on stage. Anytime we see Madam Titi, it's on stage. So Madam Titi, we want to find out what has been your journey so far with Longridge? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Mama, over to you. Wow. Good morning <laughs> to the whole world. Good morning, Africa. People are here from US, they're here from Swahili land, Swahili from Mozambique, from Ghana, from everywhere. I say good morning to you all, and it's always nice to be with you all. Thank you, um, Solomon, for inviting me here today to share my story. I hope it will impact mm. on the long run to, to summer force here. Well, the journey. It's a journey. Long which is actually a journey. We have a starting point, but the end is actually, for me, Long which is a transitional business. My children are start, start, starting from where I stop. And that's what I wish for every other person as well, too. The good. It's been wonderful. It's been a sweet journey. It's been interesting. It's been exciting meeting people, being able to even talk. You know, I'm a very terrible stammerer. I stutter a lot, and being able to, to, to talk, I, I said, I, I, so my speech is much, much more improved through this language platform. You know, so I would say thank you very much, um, language. Wow. It's been wow. a very sweet, sweet journey. Um, when I travel, when I see people from zero to Europe, we have them in abundance. Yeah. People cannot even afford to eat. And today, they are dining at the world best hotel. Mm. They are traveling business class, first class around the world. We travel around the world. When we globe trot, I see people everywhere qualifying for trips, qualifying for cars qualifying for so many things, that is exciting for me. So for the good, the good has been so, so beautiful. Now, for the bad. <laughs> <laughs> we need that one, we need that one. <laughs> uh, well, the bad is, you know, because we are working with people, it's a human business. Yeah. We meet people every now and then of their background, different orientation, different you know, different everything, different perspectives, different personality. They come into the business with that, with their, you know, with their thinking, with their personality, which may not really order well or be able to make positive influence in the business. So what I do with such bad thing is, okay, Stumbling block on the in, in the journey. You're traveling to anywhere in the world. The world will not be that smooth all over. There will be some stumbling block. Now, what do you do? You just stumbling block. I turn my I, I I use my own I use those blocks to be the bridge, you know, so that I can be able to pass through it. Being a stammerer, I tend to be very aggressive. I tend to be very angry, you know, impatient, you know. But in this business, I've learned to be calm and to listen more, and to talk less. Managing people is very difficult, it's not easy at all, and being at the top is even worse. The In fact, it's the most difficult thing to do on earth, managing human beings. It's worse. It's, worse. it's the most difficult thing. <laughs> being at the top is worse. You know, when you're number three, number four, number five, it's easier for you. Just <laughs> make your money cool and calm. 
Number one, serious issue, serious problem. Anybody think that you are superwoman, you might be able to solve anybody's problem, you are there for them. So it's not really easy. The bad is really, really mm. very, very bad. Mm. And then the ugly. The ugly. The ugly. <laughs> when you when you are ugly, you are really ugly. In and out. <laughs> when you are wow. ugly, you are ugly in and out. You know the bad mm. can still be, the bad can still be improved, be better. But when you are ugly, yeah. man, you need to do plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's exciting. <laughs> it's crazy that you know it's unfortunate that in so much business that's supposed to bring a lot of love and affection, you know, mm. we have mm. one big family, one love mm. together. We see some trying to cause issues among us. It's true. We see some. In short, do you know what, what happened to me yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, somebody called me. My husband, friend's wife, called me. I call her auntie. She called me. She said, like, somebody, somebody called us and asked her, which team do you belong to? And she said, I'm under Tete Jumagwa. And she said, ah, that means you don't have a team. <laughs> that means you don't have a team. Come and join my team. I will give you a new code. Then you oh, yeah. Then you be my team and we work. I'm like, sorry, you don't have a team. You are, in my, you are under me. Hey. Like, hey. 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 Yeah. You are the one that will build your team to the level you want it to be. It's true. Don't let anybody deceive you. And Auntie, please give me the other person's name and the phone number. I will use that person as a, as a, as a scapegoat in language, you know? <laughs> but the Auntie begged me and said, no, 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 I won't do that, I won't do that for you. I, I'm sure, I even invited her for, 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 for this program. I'm Let's... sure she will listen to me today. I'm sure she's here now hearing me. You know, can, how ugly can that be? It's My true. name was mentioned as the sponsor. Your sister is a person. It's really, really <laughs> ugly. It's extremely ugly. You know, when, when it is ugly, it's terrible. <laughs> ugly. These are, these are some of the, of the challenges we face in this problem. Wow. Wow. It's not handsome at all. Very, very ugly. Very ugly face. Very ugly face. <laughs> Mama Titi, thank you so much. I mean, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's so touching to hear that it's not only we, the down, down, down people who have challenges. If even the number one in Africa is told, in fact, number one in the world is told, <laughs> I mean, her, her, her down lines have been stolen. Then you and I, guys, 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 <laughs> let's embrace it. So indeed, it's just, it's just too ugly. It's just too ugly. Now, let's go to the queen of the Southern Hemisphere. I call her Bilona Vivi. Vivian Mokome. I love you so much, Vivian. Now, Vivi, um, I, 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 I told you something that, look, I want us to pour our hearts. Enough of the PowerPoint, enough of the slides. Let, them, let the people feel us. You know, because hey, the, the 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 secret of every person is hidden in their story. Vivian, we all know you that hey, when you came in the southern hemisphere, when you appeared in Lawrence, there was a massive momentum, there was a massive takeoff. That hey, in fact, everything came to a standstill. Anything Longridge was South Africa, in fact, southern hemisphere. And to the extent that I mean, I remember was it 2018, 2017? No, 2018, we went to we went to China and it was, it was as if it was China against South Africa, not, not other African countries. We could see the fire everywhere, the momentum. I mean, it was South Africa dominated. That day, I was like, you know what, let me go and sleep. <laughs> this is a South Africa event. Vivian, we want to find out from you, what are the things you guys put in place to create that kind of momentum? Because I still think and I still believe we can go back to those days. COVID-19 or COVID-whatever, we don't stand, we don't care. All we know is 
We've done it before, we can do it again. Vivi, share with us. What were the things that made a sudden demise here? What were the things you championed? What were the things you, you spearheaded, you led, and you did that brought this excitement, this momentum, this fire that made South Africa put South Africa on the map for the world? Vivian, what to you? Uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. morning. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Papa Solo Daddy. I appreciate this moment. I do not take it for granted. Thank you. Uh, number one in Africa, thank you so much for paving the way. Uh, because of you, my life has been changed. My <laughs> Don and many other people that are joining us, I just want to say good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, you're just taking me back. I think what happened with South Africa then, we were hungry. You know, uh, we, we wanted this so bad. Mm. Um, such a way that they were pre I remember when I spoke to Chabe, who used to be my striker. I remember when I said to her in one of my first meetings, I said to Chabe, we are only operating in 168 countries. Yeah. And at the time, I thought that was too much. And her response to me was, you are playing. 163, I'm from a network uh, that was already saturated. Vivian, let's take it to the next level. Mm. And since then, it was presentations after presentations. Wow. You know, I remember there was a time when most of my team, because most of my top leaders were under rich gang. I remember in a day, we'll have six to seven presentations non-stop you know we were, <laughs> and at that time we were all employed and i remember someone asked me how are you doing it because i was still full-time employed and my job was demanding so i will do fnb from 7 until 6 p.m and then from 6 p.m until mm. it will be presentations we used whatever that was available to us. I mean, we'll even present on WhatsApp. I mean, I'm still doing WhatsApp presentation even till today. Mm. Mm. It's not one of the easiest tool to use when you are presenting. Because remember sure. when you're trying to convince someone to join into your business, it's better when it's face to face because there you can convince them, they can see your reaction. unlike when you are texting. But we did all of that. And I remember my top leaders, they will fly from one province to the next. We were hungry. We wanted this, you know. Um, so Long Reach, they brought something new to us and we also saw results. And I think with South Africans, if you want them on board, show them something that has results. And we, I remember I said to them, at that time we didn't know Mama Titi, but I knew her through YouTube. And I remember her testimony when she said, I am summary, you know but I managed to build the business. And I looked at her, at that time I was still a diamond. And I said, if she could do it, summary, then we can do it better than her, you know? And I was challenged through that interview. I'm like, no, 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 I want this woman. And I remember when I met her and I was still D5, I asked her the same question. How did you do it? She said, I wanted this. So it's all about wanting more. So my team were hungry. When I showed Mama Titi, because I used to present with her and I used to present with your videos as well. I said, guys, there's money. We can actually earn yeah. more than a million per week. They were like, are you crazy? I mean, in South Africa, we are used to getting paid monthly. So when I told them that, in fact, guys, you can get paid a week, you can write your own paycheck a week, not only a week, you can get paid every day. They were like, really? Because I mean, remember, we are used to only getting paid monthly. So yeah. now we brought something new that enabled us to make money on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. And everyone just said, bring it on board. And yeah. since that day, there was no sleeping. My wow. team everywhere. They wow. communicated everywhere. And we didn't only stop in South Africa. We went to all parts of Southern Hemisphere. We were... Wow. Possible. That's wow. what happened. So it was presentation after presentation. Because remember, a shut mouth is a shut shop. You can't keep quiet about this business. I it's mean, true. It's like a woman in the Bible who had an issue of blood, or I mean, immediately when the issue was solved, what she, did, she went and told everyone. So it's the same thing with Long Beach. When we started seeing the mm. results, seeing the lives of ordinary people being transformed from yep. zero 
hero. We couldn't afford to keep quiet. And also the product, because I remember saying to my team, we have a business case. That's what I used to say to them. As long as a girl child is born, we cannot afford to keep quiet. Every girl child in Southern Hemisphere must have access to our sanitary napkin. So that was something that I told them. I said, listen to me, we have a business case, run with it. Every household in Africa must have an income. So that line on its own, I knew that it was triggering something to them. And I said to them, an income, it can be anything from 100 rand to 1 million to a week. Mm. That every household in Southern Hemisphere and Africa as a whole, it has an income from Long Reach. I wow. knew by just saying that I'm triggering something to my leader. They just went mad. They went crazy. All right, Didi, before you go, um, I mean, uh, I'm so excited. I mean, uh, you, you mentioned the fact that you consulted, you know, you, you, you at least, because mostly people see you people there, you know, the uplines, the big people, and they thought they just jumped there. There was, there was a starting. I want you to share with us what were some of the challenges, especially when you were at the, at the lower level, because most people think, well, challenges of a uh, star director is different from the challenges of a, uh, how do you call it, um, um, a, a downline. But hey, we're all once a point in downline. When Antiti was once a point in time, a damo one, damo two, damo three, damo four, she had challenges. Vivi, before you go, a quick one, within one minute, what are some of the challenges, one or two challenges you encountered when you were in your diamonds before you became a celebrity as a three star? <laughs> um, the challenges was, remember people, they believe in results. And um, back then in 2017, we had nothing to show. The only thing we had, it, we had to, re, um, to make you as a reference and Madam Titi. And you remember South Africans is a different nation. You're now telling them about a Chinese company in Nigeria. What are you talking about? You understand? So those were the challenges that we had to encounter because some will say, show me, you're saying this thing pays, where are the results? So all our presentations were based on um, the, um, what is that, the testimonies from Ghana and Nigeria. So those were the challenges to get people to believe in that. But I used the product. You understand that for those who didn't believe I had to use the product. And the good thing about our product is that you can do the demo. You don't have to be fluent. That's what I say. You don't have to be fluent or know them in details like the likes of Dr. Lesejo. As long as you can do the demo, that's all I used to do. But in terms of testimonies, the challenge was that there was none. When I started, I mean, uh, there was no one who was earning in South Africa. I mean, it was, we were the first one, we were the pioneer. And um, so there was nothing to show. There was no car, there was no income. Mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. those, you think they pay a week less income. And I remember there was a time when my first income was 150. Now, you're telling someone that the company is paying millions and you only got paid 150. And I remember at that time, I had a team that was under me. How do you go back to your team and say, I got paid 150, let's move oh. on. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I remember I had to lie and change my income on the team. Someone would say, show us, show us how much you got paid. So I changed my money to 1.5. I said, oh guys, I got paid 1.5. They were like, really? But why does it look so strange, your screenshot? So those were the things. That is <laughs> All right. So, you know, what Vivian simply said, look, hey, the challenges were there, but more, more real were her heart beat to overcome those challenges. Uh, before I invite Billionaire Dove, I want to make this very important announcement. This platform is strictly long range international. We have invited you here because we want to know and learn how to build our long range business. I see some people putting some stuff in the chat about some other businesses. I see a la something month, whatever. Hey, 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 please. If you are confident about your business and your company, go and build elsewhere. We are here. We have been someone here with the number one in, in the world of long reach to talk about long reach. Please, nobody should listen to the person. I'm going to remove that person from the from the, from the the call because I see some people chatting and sending other links. Join my business, join this. No, this is strictly long reach, please. We want to respect you, so respect us. All right. Vivian, thank you so much. Vivian, you know, Vivian has a, an intriguing message and, I mean, a, a story. And um, I can't wait to host her alone for three hours for her to share because, I mean, she was, her story is so intriguing. 
um, someone from the banking industry, from the uh, tech industry, and then just get crashed in the multi level marketing industry and just boom, made it to the top. And Vivian, God bless you. It's a privilege to have you. Vivian, don't go. We still have time to talk about. Now, we want to go to the only, the only star director in the world. The only star director in the world. That is a military man. If you don't know, the whole world is the only employee who is a star director. <laughs> the only employee. You see, I brought him on this call because people were asking, Papa, why didn't you bring the other star threes? Why didn't you bring the other star twos? I said, no, 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 no. This guy's story is phenomenal. He's an employee, fully employed by the Ghana Armed Forces. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, an engineer of aeroplanes. <laughs> he's a flight engineer. But he's been able to make it to start directorship. At a point, I remember he has to go to the bush because they're going for, I know, upgrade and then to train. Six months. He came back. He came to overtake all the, those who were, who were with us full time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you one of the finest in Africa. A military man who is a businessman. I'm telling you. <laughs> Razdov! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, Razdo. Unmute yourself. Okay. Now, Razdo, um, you your question is is is, is simple. It's, it's simple. Okay. You are living testimony, and you are very young. You are one of the youngest star directors. I want to find out how were you able to combine um, how do you call it, uh, full time employment with your network marketing, your side hustle, your long way business as a military man. How are you able to do this comparison? Please speak up your heart. Over to you, Razdov. Okay, Razdov, unmute yourself. Click on unmute. You are still mute. He's unmuted. Okay. Is it working? Um, okay. You are here now. You are here now. Hey, Razo, I like your studio. I like your studio. <laughs> Over to you, Razo. How did you combine? Good for good. Uh, welcome, everybody. My, my I'm so grateful and uh, I'm blessed. Uh, Madam Vivian, do you remember the last time I was in Africa? You shouted to me, you used my power hammer. <laughs> <laughs> what did Vivian do to you? What did she do to you? Uh, she, she, she used my power bank and we were having some chats how to make our business work. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, once again, Good afternoon and good morning to every long beach partner on this call. Mm. You are destined to be here. That is why you are here. But I'm thinking once again, thanks for blessing us with this opportunity. And then my own papa son, God bless you so much for always living and blazing the tree. Uh, like you said, I'm the only employee, the only employee star director in the world without apology. <laughs> now, when I started this business, when we joined on with, together with Papa, I remember the first day he called us, our leaders, and we meet. We met at a particular hotel in the night, 12 midnight. You see, the job I do as a military officer, if I'll be able to train, if I'll be able to go to all my training and I'll be able to graduate successfully. I tell myself one thing that anything I do, I must succeed. So with that mindset, anything I'm starting, I know I'm already a winner. I cannot fail. I, I, it's, it's, it's not possible. So I take a look at certain things I have to duplicate from my training ground into my business. It's simple. Where you are, where I am, I don't know how to do business. I was trained to kill people. On top of it, on top of it, I was trained to maintain aircraft. We don't maintain aircraft. We produce PVA. 
So when I come, uh, when I get into the space of doing network marketing, I learn for people who are already in the space. That is why, Papa Solo, you can take a look that everything you do, I don't want to ask questions. I just want to duplicate. People ask too many questions. If you ask too many questions, if you think too much, you will not be able to achieve anything. You don't know what the people are doing. You want to achieve, you want to achieve the success, Madam T is achieving. So why would you ask her question? The only thing the woman or the man will do is to demonstrate what he's supposed to do. That's why I was taught in training school. If they want me to jump across the wall, they will not allow me to jump it there. They will demonstrate. That is exactly what happened to me in long way. So I, I hate to compare my results to people's results. I don't know they are behind the scenes. So when I made up my mind, all I, I do after that meeting with Papa Solo is to put my list together, start, start calling people and people who want to do the do, people who were laughing at me, laughed at me that, oh, what is this guy doing? Knowing all my capabilities in the uniform, with the aircraft on the food, they said this guy is doing something. Else. The story is so simple. The good aspect is I was I was ready to study, I was ready to learn, and I was ready to be grateful to whosoever is before me and after me. And to my people I was talking to, I was sharing my vision. People go about sharing things, join my company like somebody is doing in the chat box. Those things don't work. You can't just kind of put a link here for somebody to, to join you. I promoted my, my vision. I was sharing my vision with people. What did I see here? What do you, did I think I can do? How the system is structured? How the system is going to, to what we are going to become before even getting to the destination? Those are the things I was looking at. So when I meet you one on one, I explain to you exactly why. I am doing this, and why you must do this as well. Ah, this thing is working for people. So why are you asking me such questions? If it's working for people, it surely must work for me. Therefore, I want to do what the people are doing. So my story becomes short. My struggles are short. I, I know already I'm surely going to pass through the difficulties Madam Titi spoke about, the difficulties Papa Zoe himself is passing through, the difficulties Madam Vivian spoke about. So I already made up my mind. Probably maybe my background, my mentality, and stuff like that. So I always tell people, anybody around me thinks that I am arrogant, I am, no, I always tell people, people will not chastise me. Or have you ever seen a player on the bench being tackled before? No, I am holding a ball. So people must start with me. So those are all the people who reject me. And for me, because I was not having time, I go to work this morning. I performed 24 hours non-stop duty from yesterday morning to this morning, 8 o'clock. And then I came home. If you can see my eyes, you can see that I'm feeling I'm sleepy. Those are the things I've been passing through for a long time. So when I get home like this, from my 24 hours, 72 hours, 48 hours duty, or sometimes one with duty non stop. I have to sacrifice my sleep. As for my wife, he's even doing the business more than me, not prospecting, me. he's even sacrificing more than me. Because the little time I come home to spend with her, that's the time I'm going to jump on my phone, my WhatsApp groups, my prospect, my follow ups. The challenges are the same everywhere. So if you wanted to, if you want to catch the bush meat or you want to trap a rabbit, you have to sacrifice your time when even something is biting you you have to be stable in the bush and still monitor where the rabbit will come up from or the grass cutter will come up from it's the same so those are some of the challenges but you should be able to you should be ready to sacrifice the sacrifice the sacrifice aspect is what is killing a lot of us and then i was not ready to compare my dawns to someone's sunrises i was not ready oh. to compare my Class one, mm. so one class. Wow, 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 wow. Billionaire as go. I like his last statement. He said he was not ready to compare his dawn to somebody's sunrise. Hey, God bless you. This one is wisdom. 
This one, don't leave me, it's wisdom. <laughs> Rado, God bless you. He said he's not ready. He's done to somebody sun rising. God bless so much. Rado, I mean, um, those of you who don't know this gentleman very well, you know, he 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 works, his I mean his work ethics is one of the best to to to, to be reckoned with. And one thing I like about him is even if he's tired, no matter where you send him to, he'll do it. No matter what you tend to do. Most of you see Ghana will do big, big events all over. He's a brain behind. He's the one who carries all those, you know, um, um, uh, events. Razo, God bless you. Now, back to Mama Titi, our adorable mama. Mama Africa. The Ogindi Gidi. The fire woman. The woman that is a bulldozer. <laughs> the machine, the money machine. <laughs> mama Africa. <laughs> <laughs> mama, mama, before uh, I, I just, I, today I told you I want us to be real. I want us to be very, very real. I mean, I don't think there's any PowerPoint we share here that these people don't know. Okay, I want us to be very real. Uh, guys, today we are going to give you some strategy. I know you like strategies, don't worry. We'll give you strategies, okay, that will, you can use to get PV this in this season. No, don't worry about that. But I want us to, I want us to drain from Mama Vivi and Mama Titi and Razdov. Mama Titi, we want to we want you to advise the the downlines, the partners who are not making money currently. The truth is now, it's not everybody that is making money. Some genuinely are not making money at the moment, and they are thinking of either stopping, either <laughs> jumping, or not doing the business again. I want to find out from you what is the advice you are giving to these your children who are not making money. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm your today. I'm your mouthpiece. I know some of you are not making money. That's the truth. You have been pretending for long. The truth is, you are not making money. Today, our mother is here. Mama Titi, today we have ambushed. Mama Titi, we are not making money. What should we do? What should the downlines do? Over to you, Mama. Today, we are crying on you, Mama Africa. <laughs> Mama Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when long which first came to Nigeria, mm. it was tough, uh -huh. very tough. It was said it's for the rich, mm. and so a lot of people joined the business and left the business when they got that first bonus. The lead. Wow. It's so discouraging. You work so hard. You work so smart. We travel around the world. We travel around the whole of the country. We not sleep. We're not taking a lot of risk. I long run, the bonus wasn't just coming. It was so, 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 so discouraging. Mm. What is the way out? The truth is that I never preach bonus in language. I do not even understand the marketing plan of language. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, I don't know it. I'm one, it's me too. Different from all that I know. So for me, I sell the opportunity to people. I sell the products. I tell them, don't buy my product. I don't want to make instant profit from you. Instead, use that money to register yourself in the business. Mm. I, you know, I long run. There's no money in the business in the beginning. So then, long which give you the cream first, mm -hmm. and then keep the carrot for you later. Only those that that, that can endure the cream will enjoy the carrots. So we are so used to get quick with skin. I've been in this industry for 24 years full time. And wow. we are so used to getting money, no matter how they paint it. When they pay you on your personal achievement, it's pyramid. They are keeping the cane for you. When they pay you so high, when you have to put it under you, something is wrong. Run away from that place. It's nowhere to do. To you. It's not a place for you, for you to be. I can tell you for free. I have been number one in Africa since 2004, right from Nutri Health. Down, I was number two in the world in Green World. 
I know how it works. They bait you with so much money in the beginning. Mm. But in the long run, you win. In the long run. Why? When you're supposed to be in, in other team that you ought to be earning from, that is when the king will now come to you. And the company will now get all the money from you. Instead of to get anything, you get nothing. Yes, mm. there's no money in the beginning of language. Because I can tell you for real that language is the only company that teaches real multi-level marketing, real team building. How do you want to earn so much when you don't have so much? That's why that is why people are being are being, are being defrauded. You you have only you only have like God, for example. And you have to three point that you house in that season. And you want to end one million at the end of the month? Don't be deceived. You cannot even end the hundred thousand at the end of the month. That is the reality. But when, you, when your three become nine, nine from one to seven, instead of become eighty one to so two fifty four, then you are talking. Your money keep on. Getting, you know, multiplying. The type of money that you will earn when you have a team, you will not even believe yourself. You will think you are doing money ritual. <laughs> that is the reality in this business. Yeah. There is no money in the beginning of language. Yes, there is no money because we are not here to scam you. We are not here to deceive you. I won't lie to you that you're going to earn money tomorrow morning. You will not earn it. Too. I won't lie to you that don't bother. They will pay you the money, mm. money, money, money. You are not going to earn the money tomorrow morning. You are going to put in effort. It takes time to plant the seed. Mm. It takes you, time to plant your seed. You mm. plant the seed. You put out, you put out the seed. You don't know, you know, you know, you know, you know it to grow. For you can start harvesting every season. You don't plan today and invest tomorrow. Who does that? You don't plan today and invest tomorrow. You've got to, you've got to plant, water, nurture, watch it grow. Then you harvest. You think it was easy it, it, it for me at first in the beginning? Oh, hell no, it was not easy in the beginning for anybody in this business. We all passed through the same stage. Mm, I love that. Yes, we all went through the same level. Yes, I came in with the VIP. I did for me every day I came into the business. Yes, I did it. But how much was I put us in the first first week of doing language? How much was that end actually? Let's face it. But compared to how much I'm earning today, everything I earn today, I didn't work for it. All that I I I put in language in the beginning of language, I've earned it back in the past six months of my doing the business. Six months of the of diligent work. This is six months of hard work. This is months of focus of this ability to succeed. You won't be your team to your fifth generation and you will not survive. You will survive it. Go and build a team. It's not about investment, not buy a company's more money, but yes, that comes, that helps you to get to the next level faster, but that's not team building. When your team is well built, sisters, brothers, the earning will come. And when, and when it starts coming, it, does, it never stops. But mm. when you don't build your team properly, when you are doing shortcuts, in the beginning, yeah. you yeah. pay for it later. Wow, wow. The truth about it. Be real. Wow. Be real. Mama, mama. mama is on fire. Please, I can see the fire. Mama, please cool off small. Because, you know, when <laughs> this fire, if I was sitting by her, she would have put her hand in my eyes. Solomon, you have to feel. It's the truth. Let it be. You know, me, I nah. always play to be from the beginning. I will mm. tell you, we have to build this together. We it's have true. to work at this. Give it yeah. six months. Give mm. it six months and let's see how much we are going to yield from it. Excellent. Don't tell people the truth from the beginning. The truth mm. is always enough. It's just enough. 
This Mama. is all the time. Let's go. All right, Mama. <laughs> this yes. this fire. You know, today is lunch. We are having lunch. This is lunch. We are sitting okay. on the lunch table Let with me Mama. Have my water. Yeah, Let this me is lunch. Water. Yeah, this is lunch time. Don't be hurt. Yes. This is not training, no. This is lunch. You see, when you're having lunch, we are dining with queens and kings. There's a way you behave. So, Mama, uh, bless you. you see, you, you, you see the cup you're drinking from? This is a executive cup. Mama, God bless you. Listen, all Mama Titi is trying to say is that, hey, have the Chinese bamboo tree mentality. For five years, they don't see anything. But when they start seeing something, within a week, it shoots up to 90 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, all Mama Titi said, this is not an investment. Long week is not a quick money-making machine. Yes, you are not making money now, but you are working for tomorrow. You are not making money now, but you are working for the future. Okay, and she said something I like very much. She said, there's a seed time and then there's a harvest time. During seed time, you have to manure, you have to water, you have to prune, you have to weed around the seed, and then you get it. Mama, God bless you. I think we are enjoying the lunch. I'm enjoying the lunch. I'm enjoying the lunch. Now, Bilone Vivi, Vivian Mokome, over to you. Now, Vivi. You know, we all know Vivian is um, uh, very, very popular in the Southern Hemisphere. And Vivian, we know that you have a wonderful story. Uh, I remember your one, one of your storyline. You hated network marketing, just like me. You hated network marketing, you know. And for me, the same because the people who came to me when I look at their lifestyle and the way they do the thing, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't meet my 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 um, my expectation. So, Vivian, I want to find out. From where you sit, not only in South Africa, but globally as a leader, why do you think people are not joining network marketing, for that matter, Long Reach International? Why do you think, since you have been there before, can you share with us? And how should we do it so that ordinary people, because I want us to begin to attract people like politicians, bankers, doctors, lawyers, you know, in Long Reach, because now, because of COVID-19, a lot of people have lost their jobs. They want to join, uh, they want a source of income. But most of them, their minds have been destroyed because of the way some people presented MLM. How should we go by it, number one? But number one, why are people not wanting to join? And number two, how should we do it? Vivian, over to you. Uh, thank you, Papa Solo. Actually, what um, Mama Didi was saying now, it takes me back to the conversation that I had last night with SBPS. You know, um, yeah. Uh, see, the planting and the harvest time will never see. And unfortunate part is that our people look for easy things, you know, easy results. Uh, building is very important um, in MLM. My journey was very interesting. I didn't want to be associated with MLM. Um, coming from a corporate sector where I was holding a high, the highest position in the bank, I was part of the IT executive. I was responsible for building, I was responsible for critical systems that were responsible in ensuring um, that we change the face of the banking sector. So my position was very high. I was not a bank manager, I was not a teller, but I was part of the IT team in the banking sector and having master's degree, not only that, and also certificate, because for me to become, to be a specialist, there were other certificates that I had to acquire under my name. And also coming from a prominent background, association was very important to me. And every time when I used to log on Facebook, I used to see how people were advertising network marketing. To me, that was not appealing because they made it easy. They pushed forth money. You know, they made it, um, they were advertising easy success. And remember, I'm coming from an environment where I knew that there's no short, there are no shortcuts to success. You know, getting a master's degree took me seven years. And for me to be part of executive, it also took me years in the banking sector. So now when you come to Facebook or people are doing multi-level marketing, I used to see them only showing money. And not only that, they used to look down at education. You understand that? And coming from a background that promoted education, that used to turn me off. You understand that? Because I always believe that you cannot make an exception the norm. There are those who could have made it because they didn't go to school. That is an exception, but it doesn't mean that everyone will make it like that. So those were the things that turned me off and how they positioned themselves. You know, um, if you want to win people over to you, you can't win them by criticizing what they are already doing. 
Do you understand that? And like Madam DT has said, network marketing is about people. It's about the people. You need to understand the people and you need to have the love for the people. It must be about the people before it's about you. It must be about you wanting to see them becoming better. So what I was seeing on social media about network marketing, I didn't want to be part of that. They were too loud for me. That is my honest opinion. They were too loud. Okay. And I saw fake success, you know, and I saw people who were there to mock those who were professionals. You can't mock professionals and expect them to join you. And you need to understand that professionals are very consecutive people. All right. Uh, and you're dealing with mindset. Our mindset was go to school, work hard to be where you are. Uh, it took me seven years to get my master's and you come and say, it's a piece of paper. Do you expect me to join you? No, so that, those were the things. And that's why when I first joined, I remember I said to Dr. Lesejo, I want to change the face of mm, mm, mm. I want professionals to feel comfortable. I don't yeah. want professionals to feel ashamed. You understand that? And I don't know, and remember professionals, like I said, they're very conservative. You can't be showing money everywhere. To them, and a man, not everyone gets motivated by money. That's why you need to understand your market. Uh, when I joined network marketing, I was not desperate. I didn't join because I wanted money. I was already making good money. I wanted time off with my family. So money to me was not a source of motivation. And what I saw on Facebook was all about money, come, let's make money. They were even showing their money. To me, that was scary. Remember, I'm from an environment where, you're, no, no, for your security reasons, you can't just show your money to the public. And I said to Dr. Liseko, let's do it different. How yeah. we going to do it will make sure that it's an environment where everyone will be comfortable, an environment where everyone will want to belong. Whether you're educated or not educated, professional or not non-professional, everyone must feel safe and belong. Do you understand that? And what I did, I had to identify different types of leaders in my team. There are those that are, um, there are those that will be attracted to Dr. Lesejo. There are those that will not. So it's very important as a leader to identify different people, different skills, different talents in your team, and make sure that all those talents, when they go on social media, everyone is welcome. That's what I meant by saying. We have to change the face of network marketing. The truth of wow. the net professionals, we need them. We need their skills. We need their expertise. Because this is a profession. And unfortunately, mm. with network marketing, there are no readily available books or schools um, uh, in, in, in comparison to Europe. I was, I was happy to learn that Harvard actually, they have made network marketing as part of their school curriculum. And it's yeah. which I am fighting now for Southern Hemisphere. That's why I've been back on my journey of PhD because I'm trying to make sure that MLM forms part of our school curriculum. Because once it becomes part of our school curriculum, then it will be formal. It will be formalized. Our people will know how to carry them, themselves on social media and outside of social platform. Because whether we like it or not, we need professionals on board. We need their skills that they've acquired throughout years in a corporate sector so that we can incorporate that into this profession that is capable of producing multimillionaires in a short space of time, but yet people are still looking down at it. And they're not looking down at it because there's no money. They are looking down at it because they are rejecting us. They are rejecting how we are presenting it. Papa Solo, I fell in love with the business when I saw how you conducted yourself. I look at the pace. Mm. You'll never see her doing the presentation yeah. wearing a suit. And I remember she said to me, Vivian, I had to learn um, to improvise because there are some instances where I had to put on a cap to attract the younger market. And there are some instances where yeah. I had to be always ready with my suit. And it's the same thing that Apostle Daniel has said, and the same thing as Mom Oli, some of my top leaders that they've said, that we yeah. need to position ourselves in such a way that anyone anyone can feel comfortable to be associated with us. But networkers, whether we like it yeah. or not, professionals, we can't keep on ridiculing them. We can't keep on insulting them. If you insult them and you say you are working, but you're not doing what I'm earning, remember that is an exception. You can't make an exception in norm. And we can't confuse you. Sure. We can't confuse you. Remember some of us are earning what we are earning because of grace, because you were positioned at the right, on the right position at the right time. So you can't yeah. now 
confuse grace and start insulting those who are still trying very hard with their qualifications. I hate it. I hate it when wow. social media and people are saying you have PhDs but you have nothing. Who said everyone is motivated by money? I mm. don't. I wanted time off. I wanted to spend time with my family. In yeah. fact, I am for education because education, we need education so that we can... In fact, in fact Vivian, I, I, I once spoke to a certain doctor, uh, education doctor, about Long Ridge. I was closing her. In fact, I had done a very good job. She was happy. She wanted to join. Then I went to open my big mouth. I said, you know what? You will get cars. You will travel. You have holiday. He said, Solomon, look, I have over nine cars. I'm done traveling. I don't like traveling. I've been sitting there playing all, all my life. You know why I'm going to do this, Solomon? Because I want to meet new people. I just want to interact with people. Since then, I changed my pitching. Since then. So I realized that, you know, I'm just confirming what you're saying. It's not everybody that is entitled with, with the cars, with the houses, with the travels, with the incentives. Some of them just want time freedom. Some of them just want um, maybe networking with people. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what I also needed. Do you understand that? And always when I did my presentation, I made it, I made it clear that guys, there's no such, there's no such story behind my testimony. There's no such thing that I was broke. I was not broke. I was okay. You understand that network marketing has improved my social life. That's what I needed to network, to meet people and to have time with yeah. my children, which is why yeah. I'm here. I mean, the likes of Dr. Lisejo, she's still working, she's still practicing, she still has her own businesses. She joined because of the product. Yeah. She said, I joined because of the product. And I joined because I knew people who were sick. It's and, true. The and the solution was found in the product. Do you understand that? So imagine yeah. if you went to her and you can get a GUA gone in six months. I would have lost it. So <laughs> I, yeah, I would have lost it. So I know my customers. I know yeah. what. Especially when I go to young people, those who are, you know, is excited. That's why I'll pitch a G-Wagon. But when I go to professionals, I tell them the truth. I tell them that, listen, professionals, I know we are doing nine to five. We've went to schools for years. And we've acquired yeah. schools for years. We can put our skills into business and make a better money. And not only that, we can also find our people. You understand that we can also build our own empire with the skills that we've used to build fnb i mean my systems won global awards some of my mm. systems are still doing well today i'm not building systems but i'm building people and Vivi, 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 i know you, you are loaded I, I, I said it you you need three hours <laughs> i'll have a special day for you <laughs> only vivian <laughs> i'm like mama Titi. But you know what, my time is about to run out. I just want to appreciate Mama Titi so, so much. Yeah. And she's right about building. I draw my strength um, every time when I listen to a story. And I remember you said, something that you said to one of my star director. You said there was a time when S uh, Mama Titi, as an SD3, she closed with zero PV. Yeah. She, she didn't stop doing a business. Yeah, I remember. Yes, I you know, that thing, it's still keeping me going till today. I remember mm. you said, Madam Titi is an SD3. There was a week she closed with zero PV. And I don't think you remember you telling me that, but you did. And yeah. I said, this woman, it's now nine years in Nigeria. And it's, <laughs> you're talking about someone who knows money. Because I remember telling my leader that she earns two million rent, not two, not two million naira. Two million rent. South African will understand what is two million rent per week. This is someone who wants close with zero PV. She has been in this business for nine years. We've only been in this business for three years. <laughs> why, why are we stopping? <laughs> we rather find new ways, new in, innovative ways of doing our business. And this is what I've said yesterday to SDK and Apostle Daniel, that guys, when things are not looking good, we don't sit and complain. Let's look for innovative ways of doing our business. And I think that's what I would like us to discuss. Innovative ways for a woman that has been in this business for nine years to eight years. And today, she's earning close to two million. There was a week where she closed with zero PVs. She's still in the business. That's where I draw my strength. So mama, we just want to say we love you. We don't tell you enough. 
I know we are stressing you. Uh, we have to stress you. You are the top leader. You are our mama. <laughs> oh, all the, mama. All the, all, all the pieces goes to her. All the pieces goes to her. So let's stress her. Let's stress her small. <laughs> thank you. We have all right. Me. All right. Okay. So, Vivi, thank you so much. Um, guys, I mean, I, I know the lunch, I mean, Vivi is serving you with powerful lunch. You are enjoying the lunch. This lunch, I mean, this is the best lunch you can have. This is called the Activator Restaurant, where you have South African dish, Nigerian dish, Ghanaian dish, all the dishes in the world. Uh, Vivi has said something very phenomenal that I've not joked with. She says something about value. The reason why people don't join networkers, we don't place value on what we are doing. She starts saying something about image, image, image. I, 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 I don't, I cannot go out without my personality because listen, people buy me before they buy my message. So I don't joke with my image. And she also says something about positioning. The way we position ourselves. Look, if you go on social media right now, you can check my website, my 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 Facebook wall. You will not see anything long rich, but everything I'm doing there is long rich. But because I have packaged it, I have branded it so that I keep you in suspense. What is this guy about? What is this guy about? I want to know. Then when you want to know, I bring you to my long reach platform and give you long reach. I don't display my sanity part on my wall. I'm saying sanity part. I can do it. But maybe somebody has gone ahead to go and destroy the market, to go and speak, to go and do something bad about long reach. And when I put myself there, they, they, they will not... Look, there are some people who attend my meeting. They didn't know it was long reach because I package it. Retirement plan B seminar. And it was long reach. Retirement plan B seminar. And they came. And I took them why they need to retire. Number one. Number two, why they must retire well. Why should they need to retire? I have something for you. Long reach. So when we finish, a woman said, Ah, Solomon, I've had, I know long reach. I've attended the meeting. I never joined because they didn't explain it this way. So positioning, packaging is very important. And then she also mentioned about language, the way we package our language. Most people just go about and talk about it. Hey, we will be rich. We will make you rich. We make money. I made this money overnight. Listen, those things is the same thing scammers do. The same thing scammers do. Anytime I see a team member display money on the screen, I call and say, look, go and change it. It's not done. You are even exposing yourself for robbery. Vivian, God bless you. You are, you are phenomenal. I think we need to have a time called Time with Vidya Mukumi 101. <laughs> that I will give you three hours non-stop. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, before I go to um, the, the, the only military star director, please, I want to give shout out to all the people on Facebook. I can see over 300, over 435 people on Facebook. Hey, Facebookers, I give you shout out. God bless you. We love you, all of you. Please share, 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 comment. Want to know what is happening? All the Facebook guys, I can see um, Ajara, I can see Sumanya, I can see um, Abimola, and all the rest. Hey guys, we love you all, and I strongly believe you are learning something today. Is freestyle with the directors, we want to want to drain them. I can see Vivian Futi, I can see Agada Blessing, I can see Anikwe. Hey, Anikwe is there, Tinere Abimola is there, Temi Lolua. Hey, Nigerians are here, power. Nigerians are here. I got that blessing. Mama Titi, your people are here. Your people are here. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. God bless. Guys, I can see Cameroonians, Togo, Benin, Ivory Coast. I can see uh, Burkina Faso. I can see Cameroon. Kenya is here. Yeah, South Africa is here, of course. I can see uh, Swaziland, uh, Zimbabwe. Hey, Zambia is here. Guys, God bless you all. So, let's go, let's go, let's go to Razdov. Razdov. Razdov, the only soldier who is also a star director globally. Razdov, I want to ask you one question, which is, to me, is one of the heartbeats of every networker, especially during this era. Razdov, um, I want to find out, in, in, in this era, how should we pitch people for our business? You know, pitching is everything. Pitching simply means getting your business to your prospect the right way so that you can come for more details. Some people, when you go for their pitching, they end up doing presentation. Rather, I want to know, how have you been able to pitch your business to influencers? Because in your team, I know we have, you have doctors in your team, you have lecturers in your team, you have bankers in your team, you even have other military guys in your team. What, how did you pitch them? 
what did, did they hear? Because, you know, we keep hearing from down lines. I spoke to them, they didn't join. I explained, they said they don't want to join. I, I invited them, they didn't come. Or they came, they didn't join. Rasdo, how do you do it? Because I know you are very good at getting people for seminar. If Rasdo invite 10 people, I bet you, not less than nine of them will join. 10 or nine will join. That is Rasdo for you. He's very good at closing. He's very good at pitching. Rasdo, want to hear from you. How do you pitch and how do you close? Over to you. All right, once again, I'm just enjoying this lunch, pal. I'm telling you, this lunch, you know what, though? The only, the only lunch that is served virtually, the virtual lunch from, from Mama Titi's yeah. kitchen and the Demogomez kitchen. Hey, this lunch. Only <laughs> I'm drinking water on top. All right, uh, thanks so much once again for, <laughs> for that powerful submissions and uh, reaction from the, the two big mammoths on the, the continent. Now, straight to the point, if you are watching me on Facebook, shout out to those on the call. You see, the lifestyle... Okay. ...you live before joining into partnership. The lifestyle you live before you join this business is going to either punish you or reward you. If you go on Facebook, I Facebook a lot. In fact, sometimes people tell me, when do I see you? Where can I see you? I say, meet me on social media. Because I am so tight in one corner that you cannot get me outside. So you can only see me online. So uh, like Madam Vivian said, the packaging, you, the way you, you portray yourself out there, you can't just be talking politics online, insulting people, and the next Thing you do is to call the same person for business. It's, it's, it's not possible. Now, I pitch people to law, careness. Sure. Sure. About four or five days ago, I posted something on Facebook that if you know anybody celebrating their birthday, mention the person's name under the comment. There were times when Facebook alerted me that these people are celebrating their birthday. I quickly go ahead, maybe those celebrating their birthday the next two, three, four days to come. Then I go through, I prepare a nice message down. So by six o'clock in the morning, I send all these people this message. And those who I will look, I will take a look at the globe, where you live, where you are. If I interact with you, I think you are closer to me. I can give you, I can just say, I have a nice package for you. In, especially in this pandemic, people need care, people need love. People mm. want somebody is in is in closet, nobody has ever even called the person. So, oh, where are you? Someone told me well, I live at this area, this, this is where I do my shop is closer to I said, Oh, I've never met you before, but I've been following you so well every day. In fact, I, they end up doing that on Facebook, but I can hype you, I can edify the person, and they will show me the place. You know the package I said I have for you. Even if I go there and I give you my fresh now, for me to spend my time, my resources, my food, or my, if I get trusty, my love affair, to come and meet you, that you are celebrating your birthday. Therefore, I, I, I want to spend some five minutes, two minutes with you by giving you this package. Some people were so... The, the shot of where some said they, they think I was lying recently. As soon as I, 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 I leave the scene, they started promoting me on Facebook. Some we took pictures together. They are now posting. They are now saying good things about me. And people wanted to know, oh, who is this guy? Some even becoming, how do you call it, jealous and say, eh, so we've been friends for these years and you never show up in my birthday and blah, blah. So don't worry, it's not too late. I can still meet you. That is some of the things people need in this time. You should you should be ready. You should be ready to 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 to, to make a difference in someone's life. Like my, 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 Madam Vivian said, educate people. I educate people. That is why I, I I yesterday I was on a call with Simon Chan. He was asking me that why am I still in the military? I learned this from uh, Jim Roy. He said when he started his network marketing, he was working. Therefore, if you cannot do it on part-time, my brother, you can't do it full-time. Some people are fooling the time, thinking they are doing it full-time. 
He said, Jim Rohn said, it got to a time he was making money to the extent that he's even a trade. Say it again, say it again. Some people are what? Say it again. Some people are what? Say it again. They are time thinking they are, they are doing it on full time. Again, again, again. Some people are what? They are fooling their time, thinking they are doing it on full time. Mm, and this you is good stuff. Part time, you can't do it on full time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if the BP and the anger start rising like this against poverty, then we are entering a different level. For le so when when I see people complain that people are not joining their business, I tell people no. Like Papa said, people just go throw picture uh, of toothpaste and uh, sanitary napkin. Who told you everybody want to use a sanitary napkin? Who do, are you? You think you are the only one having some napkin in the market? I even send message to some of my leaders that, hey, master, go and remove that post. This are some of the, and some of the uplines too. You have to be, be, be interested in sponsoring, not only recruiting. People are not joining us because they don't see any prospect in you leading them. You just want to recruit them, make some uh, initial money, and then you, you are gone. No. Sponsor them. Me, I will monitor your activities online. If I take you as a young follower, I want a discovered leadership trait in you. I have to show you how I pitch. So what you post, I'll send you a message. Go and edit that message. Go and take off that picture. India might might with immediate effect. And you <laughs> And someone posted on Facebook that it went up for us. You know that some people are not making money. Yes, people are not making money. You, Papa, yourself, when you started a business in your first week, two weeks, did you make money? So Never. let's tell the people the truth. You, I was with you the first time when they pay you 20 CD. You show me the, the message. You see, Never. look, goosebump, goosebump is all over me because of 20 CD. <laughs> so when you join the business, how you carry yourself, how you prospect. And the prospecting we do doesn't mean you just meet the person today, you say, come and join. See, there were times where I had to turn myself into marriage counselor because I have seen prospect in this guy. He can do the business, but the wife was giving him a lot of issues at home. So he doesn't have that clear mindset. So I have to end up becoming his good friend. That is where some of you don't have the patience. Patience doesn't mean, oh, I'm waiting. It will be good. But how you react to situations, how you go about your things whilst you are waiting for the result. I traveled from one uh, suburb to another to go and meet this guy in his home. Sometimes I have to end up having lunch with them, having a, a breakfast or, or supper in their house just to become friends. And when things were okay with them and they think they've arrived, or they finish through their transition period, they now join the business. So anybody you meet today, everybody you meet today, we are all at a particular phase in our life. I am okay with my thousand Ghana CD now until that guy is now looking for a girlfriend, meeting, want to marry. Then he will now want to find some money to, to, to add up to what he's, he's making now. So at that time, he will now call you. And people are in the business. Not everybody in, is in our business for money. People are in for the recognition. People are in, like they've said, I don't want to repeat those ones. People are in to mingle with new people. Somebody also joined, not for a car, but just to travel free with a team, a group of people. The only time the guy travel is when his company send him on a trip. He doesn't have the, the time with people to take group pictures on, on a farm trip base or stuff like that. And you have to also stop sowing seeds of this cause. Respect people. Relate to people the way you think people must relate to you. You need to go for, see, I started a business and I went in for the experience. I want the experience first before the breakthrough. You need to, you, you need to consider your being true. You cannot just pop up and become a star director. I always say the number of calls Madam Vivian or Madam Titi will reply a day. If they give it to you, the diamond four or diamond two, you cannot reply those messages because you don't have the capacity. You don't have the capacity. You've not built your capacity. That is why you need some prospects 
Mm. They will not join. Papa Solo will talk to them, they will join. Even me, they are prospects, I cannot talk to and they will join. There was a time, one of the, 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 the difficult part of my journey was that people think that because I'm in the uniform, I can take their money and they cannot, they cannot come and ask me questions. So they don't want to even do business with me. So you see, you think because I'm working and I have the advantage to talk to people, they enjoy me. Somebody is even afraid of me. No, 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 no. You, if I give you my money and the money is not coming or I cannot see you again, I can't even come to the barracks. The, the, the military police will not allow me to get access to you. So they also have different men, mindset. If you want to pitch me, if you want to pitch somebody in this particular era, this pandemic where people lost their job, don't go and be laughing at people. It's not our joy that people are losing their money. If you are here and you are happy that people are losing their jobs, then you are evil. You are not supposed to be here in the first place. The, the, the purpose of we preaching and educating people is not about putting one person at one tight corner, climb the person and go up. No, let's show love, appreciation. Let's let people know that we care about them. Find out the situation in which they are first. And if you are applying, tell your people the truth. Present the business to them the way it's supposed to be. Don't go and hide the, 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 the results and forgetting about the process. Tell them the process. Let them know. I'm not scaring you, but this is what is at stake. Even if I have I've gotten a job, I have to wait for 30 days to be paid. And I need to do something. You just got a job, first, second, third, four, five days, you didn't go to work. You think that you think that you'll be paid? Mm. You will not be paid. Yeah. In a business, you need to go through something first. You should be you should be ready to study, practice before you start teaching. Most of us here, here on this call, we join today. We've not even finished studying straight. We want to teach. What are you going to teach? What are you going to teach? Wow. Your problem is because you are not well informed. You are deforming people. <laughs> you yourself, you are not well informed. So you are deforming people left and right. That is why they are not joining your business. Learn to pitch well. Be ready to learn. Some of you two are not ready to learn. Wow. Some of you who are supposed to be on this call, you are saying, oh, this thing we hear, we hear. Or you hear. If you hear Madam Titi speak uh, or spoke uh, and he's still speaking and you are not making his commission, then you have to be on his, her call every day. You can only mm -hmm. teach something you practice. You see mm -hmm. results. I can say it on authority. You can't teach anything on the highest degree of authority. If you've not learned it, you've not practiced it, and you've not seen result out of it. Wow. Wow. Ross. Papa, your, 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 it seems your lunch, uh, what you're serving us this afternoon is very hot. We need water. Yeah, yeah. The pepper is, is very, very, the pepper is too much. The, the pepper is too much. Why well, are you are you a Nigerian? There's too much pepper inside. Yeah, <laughs> you are serving uh, Madam, more, did more, more, more. You are serving us more more more. more. <laughs> Madam, did you taught me how to prepare the pepper soup. <laughs> guys, 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 the lunch is getting exciting. And I think um, we are we are pre drink drink some water. Drink some water because we are about to pick. We are about to pick. We are about to pick the, this lunch. I know when you are eating, normally the soup, the under of the soup is where the delicacy itself is. So, guys, uh, I want to appreciate everyone again. I like what Mr. Max Senior Serrazdo said, study and practice. You see, you cannot practice and to study. And most people study, they don't practice. In Africa, we are very good at reading. We are very good at studying, but we don't practice. I'm telling you guys, the things you guys have read and studied about this industry, if you are able to practice it, I'm telling you, you'll be somewhere else. Now, let's go to our next session of questions. This time we want to have Madam Titi again, Madam Titi again um, on the on the on the on the on the table, on the hot table, on the dining table. Yeah, she's going to serve us this meal. Madam Titi, want to find out. So currently, currently, how has the COVID-19 affected long range business in Nigeria? Only Nigeria. When we are done, Vivian also tell us how it affected the business in South Africa and then senior in Ghana. The reason is that 
I want everybody to know that it's not only your country because people think their country is affected, other countries are okay. No. So when we find out how it affected and how what you we are doing to get out of it. So I want to know how has long uh, COVID nineteen affected long reach PVs business building, traveling around presentations, event conferences, you know, um, um, car award, everything in Nigeria. And what are we doing to come out of it? Mama T. T. Thank you very much. Um, of course, it's a different pandemic. It's a different problem. It's, it's what we did not expect. It's affecting everybody. And mm. language is not uh, you know, immune to the challenge that the whole world is facing. You know, so we have challenges of, uh, you know, China is our headquarter. We couldn't launch the factory in Nigeria as planned in May. And not being able to launch the factory in May in Nigeria, of course, affects our productivity. You know, we couldn't produce the products in in Nigeria. We need to depend on China. China was on lockdown earlier than even Nigeria. And so there is no product. Now, people are much more concerned about their health now. They need to be products than ever before. You know, it's even time for us to become billionaires in this industry. But there's no products even sell to them. It's unfortunate, you know. And so we lose the a lot of our, 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 our team members to other companies, so that's our last world companies that claim to have products. Of course, those, those, those that, that are not selling before start selling their products now because long is now losing their team members to today yeah. and are buying their products in exchange of long products, you know. So, of course, it's a big challenge for us in Nigeria. We lose a lot, a lot. and then even within the, the, the team, too. Of course, people who are agitated. We are her product, language is a scam, language is a fraud. Mm. You can imagine that. That I can from imagine. Some leaders. I can language imagine. Is scam, language is a fraud because we don't have the law of demand and no supply of products. And mm. when the product even comes down to Nigeria, it's not clear. The guy, the, 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 you know, it's on the, on, 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 it will be the ship in quarantine for 14 days. You know, after, after the quarantine of the ship to clear the product again, in, 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 in a lot of our products are already on ground as well, so we cleared as well. So, a lot of challenges. So, so, so Mama, um, what, what, um, what did the leadership do, um, or the team leaders in Nigeria? What did they do? I mean, in their later capacity, yes, uh, there's lockdown. It's not their fault. It's a global pandemic. You know what? Can you share with us what has been done, or in a little way that is at least helping the team and you know um, so, the solution. Solution. So, solution, 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 yeah. right? Yeah. I I saw people that I, I, I gave people a parable, a parable of the road on the dashboard. Mm. The road on the dashboard. The road is extremely important for you when you're driving, you know, you're driving your car. The road, you have to very focus on the road, you know, or else you have an accident. Alas, the, the, the dashboard is also there. If you are not careful watching your dashboard as well, your fuel might finish. Mm -hmm. But you over eating, you know, your car can be over eating, your car can be, over, over, over your yeah. car can be going down, yeah. it can be wrong with you without you knowing it. So, what was, what, was the, what was the solution? Focus on the road, glance on the dashboard. Mm. Focus yes, on the road, glance on the dashboard. Because if you focus only on the dashboard, you will die of accidents. Mm. So what is dashboard? Dashboard is a problem you are facing, that we are facing. We are all facing it. You understand? Hi. What? And then, hello, long reach is from China. Ha! Ah, HQ of COVID. <laughs> Corona is from China. Long reach is from China. Wahala. 
you know? So this, so we just decided to just focus on the words, not on the dashboard. We saw the problem. I told them that I spent a minute talking about problem. I used one hour talking about solution. So what do we do? We bombard, we get all the connection we can get in this whole world, talk to custom, you know, try to see how, how much we can clear our goods, you know, start online meeting. You can't go and do meeting again. Hey, buddy, turn your house to your office. May have an office in your own. Have a table and a chair and a Zoom. Nobody see my shoe today. What shoe am I wearing? Where is my, my bag? You can't see my bag. You can't see my shoe. My shoe, to, to, your shoe today is your iPad. Is your, is, is your internet. Your, mm. your car today. These are what are very important in this business now. So we just turn around and try to, we, we, we we're not going to focus on the dashboard, rather we will focus on the road. The road is oh. that we are no more losing, there shall, not be no, there shall not be any loss in Israel. So we are, we shall be fruitful and we shall do our best to return our team. Wow. So we, we now went all out. Hey, wow. I'm talking to you today now, I'm telling you, there are over 1,000 Zoom meetings going on right now in Nigeria. It's true. It's over 1,000 Zoom meetings going on right now in Nigeria. Nigeria. Everywhere. So everybody has to wake up to the normal, to the reality. Don't buy bushy bag. Don't buy bushy shoe. Don't buy any, you know, face your, go and buy your, your, your Wi-Fi. <laughs> do your Zoom meeting. Yeah. Just do it and keep doing it until you and and, and, and that has, has been it for us. It's been wow. a roller coaster. Believe me, even, even with this COVID in Nigeria alone, Nigeria minimum sales every week is over 1.5 million PV. Wow. Even with this reality, you know, it takes us time to do that. No, this, this is the, the plan of, 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 of the devil to come and steal and to destroy. And mm. we shall not allow it to happen. We are going to fight it. We are positive, we have positive, positive, positive mindset. We are yeah. telling people nothing. We are more than conscious. It is now that we should even make it more. People are, are, are now losing their jobs. They need a plan B. People are, people are, 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 are sick. They need to get healthier. So today, we don't sell to pay. We sell any product. We sell all products. We sell all our products today. In, in wow. that way, we change our mindset entirely. We take a 360 degree to, to, to turn around and the sky become our stepping stone in Nigeria. Wow. Mama Titi, your meal is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Your meal is so delicious this afternoon. <laughs> this one, now from Yoruba. <laughs> <laughs> now, Chala Soup. Chala soup. Chala soup. Chala soup. Chala soup. Chala soup. Wow. Thank you so much. Right. Right. So, Manatiti, thank you so, so much. There's something Manatiti said I want us to highlight before I come to Vivian. She said, whilst driving, focus on the road, but don't lose sight of the dashboard. If you focus so much on the dashboard, you have an accident. The dashboard here are the challenges, management issues. Corona issues, COVID-19 issues, all the lockdown issues is the dashboard. But hey, the road ahead of us is the business we are building. And she said something, she said, focus on the solution more than on the problem. COVID-19 is a global problem. I mean, it's, it, it affected every country, every country. Even those who went, those who, are, who, who got it late are still affected. But hey, should we focus on the problem or look for the solution? And I like what she said on told. She said, look, turn your house into an office. Simple. Turn your house into an office. And to me, that's a new world. Very soon, mark my words, a lot of organizations will employ people to work from home because it's, it's efficient, it's less expensive, it's cheaper, and it's even much more result-oriented. I mean, people get a lot of results working from home. And Manatiti has just highlighted it. Thank you so much. She said something. She said, look, don't just buys i mean the shoes and the jacket the suit with the men but hey this is a time to buy zoom up 
some of you, your Zoom app every 40 minutes to go off. It means you're not investing there. This is a time to buy data. This is a time to get a very good iPad or phone or laptop to be able to do your Zoom and meet everybody in the world. In other words, you need a tool, a tool and tools to be able to work effectively you know, from home. But to do that, you need these strategic tools. Thank you so much, Mama Titi. So, Mama Vivian, want to also find out um, how did COVID-19 affect Long Ridge in South Africa and what has been put in place so far in South Africa? Vivian, over to you. Uh, Papa Solo, yeah, as you have um, alluded, this is a this is a global. It, it, it was a global problem. Everyone was affected. Yes, we were also affected um, in Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. Uh, most of our members, um, they remember we we had in your team. You'll have different types of people. There are those that are good in networking, and we also have those that were good at selling. Because we also encourage our members to sell. Yeah. So selling, and that's how, I mean, selling was also used as one of the strategies to take the hype around our business and awareness. So you'll find that there were those who would be going on the street with their uniform, you know, a t shirt and all that, and selling. You know, so it's not that they were selling because they wanted only profit. The motive behind that was also to create awareness around our product. And as you know as well, we also made a lot of sales through hosting big seminars. It's you true. Know, that's how our business anyway strives as networkers, you know, because yeah. it's a show and tell business. You the know, and exactly it's a business of the people. Um, so events were cancelled, they had to be cancelled with immediate effect, and also face to face presentation had to be cancelled. Then we needed mm. to have we needed to have a plan B. And not sure. everyone was used to Zoom. You need to understand that not everyone had the privilege or the luxury to understand the technology or the tools that are there available. But the good thing is we had TV Network. Uh, TV Network was born in December. Uh, it was something that um, the Telescope and I and my husband, we gave birth to it in December. It's as if we knew that this was coming. You know, because I said to Dr. Telescope, I remember we're sitting in a room, we said, um, we need to evolve. We need to start doing things differently. Uh, we're not getting young. We can't yes. only be happy that we were in Ghana, we were in Zambia. We can't do that. You know, um, let's use technology and a technology that we know that we can be able to reach out to our people, not only our team, but the entire Southern Hemisphere or the entire Africa. We need a tool, a powerful where we can all meet in one room and share our skills and talent. Mm -hmm. That's how TV Network came about. And um, I was blessed. I will say I was blessed because I had a team of highly qualified individuals with different talent. They all came on board. They were excited. I remember when I first told FDPC about the initiative, it was like, wow. Because at first, I was using my phone. I said, no, 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 no. I love myself so much. I respect my team so much just to be using a phone. We had to in invest our money and our time in a technology that we knew that it would last us and the quality would be fine and a technology where we knew that everyone will benefit from it. It took money. It took time because we had to be on studio for six hours. So what you see for 30 minutes, it has taken us three to six hours. To get it right because there's a team that comes and review as well and say is this what we want is this what we want our people you know um to learn so um like i said i was blessed because i had a team that was like you know what let's do it so when COVID came we were prepared it's as if we knew but we didn't know that so when now our government was saying there's no longer face to face we are no longer allowed to do that then we said wow aha when many companies were not surviving, when they were still trying to adjust, long mm. um, Southern Hemisphere was doing well because we had a TV network. And the TV network didn't only benefit um, Southern Hemisphere. A lot of members across long Beach family members, they all benefited from mm. this. But I believe, I believe, we have a better tool. And it is that, um, because remember, as I said to you, when we spoke about it, um, 
Uh, Papa Solo, we don't know how long this pandemic is going to be with us. It's true. Um, I would be honest, I am not sure it will be normal again. You know, I'm not sure if we'll go back to our normal. Uh, I used to think, I used to say to my team, money has left the office, money is on the street, but it looks like money has left the street now. It's online. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, because money is online. So, on a daily basis, I try to look for better ways of doing my business. Yeah. You know, and yeah. as a leader, I believe that as a leader, you need to be mm. big. If you can't even win, that's the of the business. Wow. That is not in, that is not innovative. Mm. Business that is not changing. A wow. business that's not looking for better ways of doing things. It will not okay. All right. Maybe I will, will, maybe I will come to that. What you are doing currently to get the best out of it. But there's something Vivian said I love so much. Is it? I said I once said something. I look. It's it's not just by luck to become a star director. It is by divine mandate. Far back in November, she already started the network TV. That is <laughs> that is a rescue boat that was sent months before Corona became viral. And I tell you, look, you guys, our, your star directors, don't just see and treat them ordinarily and try to bring them down as we have in Africa, especially in Ghana and West Africa for that matter. Nobody became a star by hard work. I, will, I keep saying it. It's by grace. If those hard work, go and find out from Damo ones and Damo twos. They are working so hard. Yes, we are working hard. I work hard so that I don't sleep. But I don't think it's my hard work because he says the labor in vain if God does not. He said that he said the race is not to swift. So Vivian was able far back in November come out with a TV station. Now look at how relevant it is. Vivian, God bless you so much. God bless you, man. I'll come back to you again. I'll come back to you again because I, I want you to tell us because you said something very sensitive. You said money left the office to the street. So we're all over the street looking for money. You we know, the street. Yes, we were on the street selling. Yeah. I mean, we were everywhere. Right all over. We're all now, over. W, now, now WHO, WHO is saying we should stay home. Lockdown. Yeah. So money has left the street and it's now online. We will let you later. You come and show us how does we how do we get that online money? Very soon, I come back to you. And that's why really now as leaders we had to evolve. You understand? Yeah. You know, what I always say, um, and what I like is that as a leader, you need to be a visionary. You need to always think ahead. You understand? Ahead. You can't think for the now. And that's why I gave birth to the TV network. And remember, in the banking sector, I was an analyst for years. So my mind mm -hmm. is to think futuristic. So I knew that the traveling, it will not work for me in the next coming years. Listen, I'm going to be 38 years this year. You know? So wow. I one of the days of me going to say, wow, I'm in Zambia, I've done all of that. So I needed the most effective and efficient way of doing my business. A way where I can reach my team members and yeah. anyone in a tool that can enable me to share the knowledge. Yeah. Because right now with TV Network, I mean, um, it's not every day where you can get hold of SD Pesci. But now his knowledge is there on TV Network. Anyone can go there at any time. And go to the yeah. you see, you, see I, 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 you said something very important, which I want people to understand. What we used to do yesterday, we can't do the same thing today. Oh. And we, you oh. know, when I started Long Ridge, when I joined Long Ridge in Ghana, there was there was there were no materials. I quickly went to the studio, did a video. I mean, most of you on this call, my videos are what you use, those that I didn't even have yet, you know, and I did that video because that was the time. That was the, the, the days we need that video. But now things have changed. And there are new ways to do it, which we'll come to. I'll come back to you, Vivian. You're going to share with us. So what are you doing now to get it there? But hey, Bilone Razdov, 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 Razdov. You are representing West Africa, Ghana, and um, other Francophone countries. Um, I know you are one of the heartbeat of Ghana leadership. You are very neutral. Uh, some of us, they, 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 they are fighting us so much that we have just decided not to... To, to be in some clique of people again. But hey, I want to find out from you, how did long reach affect Ghana? And um, what are you doing as a leader to be able to stay relevant, to keep your team 
on the move. And of course, Muslims especially, the people who go out and try to enjoy house, they should still make money. That's dope. How about you? Thank you, Papa. Once again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to be on this call and to be representing a lot of people. Uh, Corona, no, you asked what, how does uh, Long Beach affect Ghana? Hey, <laughs> positive. Long Beach came to save a lot of lives. Long Beach came to make, to rewrite a lot of people's story. I'm inclusive. Uh, so God bless Chairman Zhu, wherever he is. And God bless whosoever made that decision to bring Long Reach to our doorsteps. Madam Titi, include all the leaders. And God bless you, Papa Solo, for making that crunchy decision that <laughs> a lot of people, people nearly cut your head off for making that decision. So positively, uh, if I want to, I, I don't want to even say, I don't see any negative effects long reach has on Ghana, but Corona on our business in West Africa, Ghana, it was, it was shaky, uh, but I was not equally focusing on the dashboard. So a lot of things came out in Ghana specifically. I think that truth be told, you got to a place where complacency set in that all the leaders were not focused. We were not united. Everybody was just about ambition. And I want you to know that ambition is, when we say ambition, it's about me. When we talk about vision, it's about us. So all of a sudden, the vision we were pushing for in Ghana, specifically, got lost. So everybody was just fighting for what would come to him. So when the pandemic came, uh, things were so hard. Oh, sorry, I muted myself. So when <clears throat> the pandemic came, it hit a lot of people, and people were now pushed in indoors we cannot go uh to them they can't come to go into we can't meet them at the hotels conference rooms anymore therefore we need to de 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 deduce another strategy and where there's no leadership where there's no unity you can lead the people so some few people try to put some few things together we had some other meetings the solution came that let's talk to ourselves let's you can't force people to lead them until the people are willing. Lead me. You can't, you can't do anything about it. And like you said, uh, you were now in the bad book of people. As for you, I keep telling you that, so far as you are holding the mantle, God called you. God didn't call us. And you, only you, God, know what God told you. God called me to lead certain people. And only me know what God told me. Moses was chastised by a lot of people. Same as all the leaders, even the Jesus and the Muhammad could be upon them that we all look up to. Apparently, they were chastised by people. So when the, the pandemic landed, uh, it was heavy. People don't come to office, PVs were driven down, and people were complaining. Now, let me tell you, anything we do in life, anything you are going to do in life, there are stages. So I see this pandemic to be one of the stages that is supposed to blow off the weak ones. Yes. If God ordained long reach to come and bless us, and this thing are, are, is happening, and instead of us to sit down and deduce strategies and solutions to make our business right, and people are now rather leaving because they are in their feelings, that end up causing or draining them their finances. Like one of my mentors always tell me that, Ras, if you stay too long in your feelings, it will cost you your finances. And it's happened to a lot of people. Something they build for four years, five years, three years, two years, all of a sudden, oh, this man is this, this man is this. Instead of them to talk to the people, they are now talking about the people. So the solution I personally deduced was to reach out to some of my active leaders personally on call on whatsapp i said okay this is what we have at hand 
The only way for us to now go along is we can't we can do it, we can't force it out. We have to set our sail in the direction of the wind. So we started showing even our prospect, like Madam Vivian said, a lot of people don't know anything about Zoom. So now we end up teaching our prospect how to even do Zoom calls. The willing people, leaders who are willing for me to teach them, to lead them, in fact, to become leaders, we, we embark on the journey. And organizing trainings online, like most of, in fact, the whole Africa, enjoy the past trainees, uh, Mr. Jaro Wilkins, Wilkins Agomo, all these people are top earners. They spoke on the platform with Eric Worry, which is the father of trainers of the industry. Those are what, those are some of my strategies that to bring to the doorstep of every networker in Africa, forgetting uh, not to mention about the company, for not the team and stuff. So I was able to successfully get in, into those people, with, to them, bring them closer, and apparently, amazingly, some of the leaders, even in my team, said that, oh, these things we've listed now, we are just going to talk. Can you imagine that? But it's one of those things, this part of it, part of the game. Therefore, we have to now start, I, I showed to my leaders a dream, a vision that, okay, this, let's do project this for this number of people, for this category of people. So we start reaching out to them online, doing consistent presentations every week, maybe three times a week or two times a week, depending on my schedule. And I also reach out to the masses in my team that you can organize even two to five to 10 prospects. If they are willing, I am ready to jump on a call with you and then do the presentation on your behalf, or you finish the presentation in a way of training you, and I close them. So after everything, I, I indicate to some of the leaders that next time, say this, don't say this, do this, don't do this, position yourself like this, don't do that. Like and some of them are on this call, and that same project is ongoing. What I want you to know is this, faith makes things possible, but not easy. If you have faith in your business, if you are listening to me and you have faith in yourself, your God, and you believe in the business you are doing, know that it is possible, but not easy. So the pandemic is here. We can't change it. Now, like Madam Vivian said, the PVs are now online, not no more in the offices. They, they've left the office to the street. Now they've, they, they, they are on posting or transfer to online. So we have to set our sale and go online. Let's train ourselves. Let's invest in ourselves. Investing in ourselves doesn't simply mean that go and read books, go and do this. Go, no, no, no. The book reading is good. L learning how to speak eloquently is good. But you need to invest at a particular point. Your investment must be set priority. At this time, as I'm sitting here, if I'm wearing boxer short, if I'm wearing supporter, if I'm wearing short trousers, you will see. So there's no need for me to invest in my dressing. In the next one month, two months, or for the past six months, seven months, I wouldn't buy clothes. I can see you are wearing shorts. You are wearing shorts. I can see. In fact, I'm even in boxer shorts. If not, <laughs> I'm not, you run away from this call. So instead of you to use those bodies, upgrade maybe your phone to a certain level that can do Zoom call, can yeah. take a lot of online applications that you can mm. run with your business. Then yeah. invest yeah. in yeah. Zoom yeah. applications. Upgrade your packages that can take at least 300, 400, mm. 500 participants. Then yeah. when you, you are doing presentation with your team, your team can be able to invite 10, 20 people. You understand? Excellent. And if, you. if you upgrade, you can, if you think you can upgrade only 200 or 400, when you are doing it and the room is full, invest by buying data. Mm. The shopkeeper, the, the, the rent you are going to pay, in the office now supposed to buy you data. Wow. The clothes are going to be supposed to buy you data so that you can go live on Facebook, live on LinkedIn, and Instagram and stuff for a lot of people to see you. This is the time for the online investment. So these are some of the strategies I, I adopted. And like my auntie said, for me, I hate complaints. I am allergic to excuses, complaints, 
and and why it will not work i look up for solution so if you are going to be with me you should go by that principle wow. so that's what that's cool. god bless you allergic to allergic to 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 excuses to excuses and complain why and why it won't work hey yes i love you so much i love you so much you know um 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 vivian says something and razo to highlight it and i'm still saying the same thing hey the way we used to do business in those days if we want to really make massive massive and big 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 result if because now we can't go back to the conference centers we can't go back to the streets and do share flyers it's not just about you it's about the lives of the, the, the your family i mean i can't put my family in danger because of pity i go out mingle with them then come and then give it to my children so we have to ad adopt new ways and you see Jabezo says that the, the, the most dangerous thing to do is not to evolve and adopt. And Jabezo, we all know him. He's, he's the richest man in the world. Currently, he's, he's worth 171.2 billion US dollars. I mean, a single person. And just within this COVID-19, the guy made over 24 billion US dollars. I did a study here and I realized that he didn't make that billions during the COVID-19. But before COVID-19, he went ahead of time Okay, and put together this structure. This corona, before it came, some people already prepared for it because Bill Gates said it in 2015 that the next world war will not be by weapons and by atomic energy, but it's going to be by biomedical weapons. Biomedical weapons. And he prepared for it. And anytime there's biomedical weapon release, which is pandemic, there's a lockdown. And when there's a lockdown, people can go out. So he put together a system whereby people can begin to you know, shop online, shop on the site, and now Amazon is worth 1.71.2 .1 billion. And just within this three, four months of pandemic, the guy made over $24 billion. So guys, I remember when I joined Longreach, the first thing I did was to put together a strategy, my strategy of going viral. Then there was no, I mean, Facebook was there, but only too viral. Uh, WhatsApp was there, but not too viral. I quickly went to the studio, I did a video. Most of you have seen that video. And most of you use that video. Those of you watching me, I mean. And that oh, video was yeah. done. <laughs> Hi, my name is Somali Biajima. Have you ever imagined why I love you know that video? And I did that because that was the time. And people were sharing this video, people were watching, and then they're inviting people to send me. We close them. Breaking high limits in new normal with long reach. Long reach has actually, to me, long reach is a prophecy for us. Because before COVID-19 came, we already had cordyceps to boost immune system. We already have alkaline cap to boost our immune system. We already have hand sanitizers. We had hand cream. We had calcium. We have berry oil. And all those other products. We even have vitamin C. Guys, knowledge to me is a prophecy ahead of time. Joseph said, God brought me ahead of time so that during this time, I can take care of you. And now look at, knowledge alone is breaking the limits with this normal, this new normal. With our products, now my alkaline caps are finished. People are calling me for alkaline caps because they want to boost their immune system. Because WHO came, now look, the best thing to do now is to boost your immune system. And we know our product most virtually all our how do you call it um um, um uh um uh, our multivitamins and food supplement they all boost immune system from libao to menguen to calcium to berry oil you know all of them are boosting even the, the wine our wine boosts immune system so i'm asking you how can we even break this limit because listen to me this is to me this is the time that we must even make more pvs why am i saying that it's simply but it's simply about having strategies, okay? It's having size today. Because listen to me, it's not going to be less. It's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. Uh, was it last two weeks, I was listening to WHO. They said, look, the worst is yet to come. And the worst means that there will be more lockdowns. The pandemic, there will be more death. There will be more people who have it. I'm not frightening you, but what I'm saying is that we should position ourselves. In times of calamity, people are making billions. It's not enough for us to complain. After the complaint, we have been complaining before even Corona came. Now Corona has come, we're no more complaining. We are just implaining. I mean, we are just killing ourselves. So please, to be able to make it tomorrow, 
And to be meaningful tomorrow, we must have a strategy today. And that's why I started by saying, look, guiding each other to place, I mean, to a place of relevance and trust is very, very important. What that simply meant, look, we, we just, I don't want us leaders here to just come and motivate you and excite you when the world has moved on. They just said something very, very intriguing, and I don't need to joke with it. Money left the office to the street, and now this, the, that street on which we were, they've asked us to move from the street to the inside. So what? So where's the money now? The money is online. So what? What should we do to get those monies? Uh, to to get the money, all we need to do is to position ourselves. And remember, our business is PVs, as I said. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how hard you're working you are. If your manager, the accountant, doesn't see PVs at the end of the week, they will not pay us. And to do this, we have to put together mechanisms to get PVs. When I was in the US, I was in the US uh, last February. Okay, I met somebody from Amazon. Uh, sorry, from Amway, from Amway, and somebody from uh, from for Herbalife. And I was asking them, so how do you do business here in the U.S.? Do you do presentations? Do you do meetings, conventions? He said, no, all they do is webinar. They come to webinar, online. And I said, how do you do that? He said, well, apart from, I, I said, how do you get people on the webinar? You can no webinar. He says, they have systems, they have platforms, they have tools that enhance them on Facebook, on social media, that they get prospects to attend their webinar online. So right in their home, they join. And listen to me, our business, what happened to us in Africa was that, it's supposed to be home business, but we turn it into street business. Please mark it down. Long is supposed to be home business. The reason why now employees who are not more working, people who have lost their job will look for us is that our business is home base. Even people who are working, the reason they can work with us is that our business is home base. But in the only day like me, I've been flying. I'm in Eastern Cape, KwaZulu Natal, and Pageli, Ulundi, Peter Marysburg, Northwest, Swaziland, Zambia. One person. Why? And I miss my wife and my children. And I'm a man. I'm a man too. But thank God. Now that I have retreated, I have read and all, there's a better way I can tour the whole world right in my, in my house. And people think to do that, it simply means be on Facebook or be on Instagram. It's wrong. Most of us are on social media wrongly. Okay? So it is time for us to build our brand. We just said something. That, that while the way we can get new people especially the professionals is to build our brand don't joke with your brand i mean when you say i belong to long reach i should be proud to say you're my partner when i look at you the way you package yourself the way you groom yourself even your your aura and hygiene even your outlook you don't just put anything on social media if i see you putting beer alcohol party on your social media wall i can't associate myself with you long reach is a profession for professionals and to do that, you need to position yourself. You need to carry your image. You need to have value. You need to add value to you. You need to have strategic positioning. And you need to package yourself by building your brand. Listen, people follow vision. People follow mission. When, I, when you meet me on Facebook, everything I do is to talk about my mission and my vision. I don't even talk about it. But at the end of the day, I is driving you there. Guys, there are people on social media hunting for jobs, hunting for opportunities, hunting for... Uh, our kind of business, but we are not positioning ourselves. We're not making ourselves appealing. It's like a lady that's looking for a husband. If you don't look appealing, you meet your future husband, and he will not propose to you because he look. And attraction is what makes the move. It's when you are. You see, people follow people. You know how people are in Long Reach? It's not because of the product. Too. It's got people. When Vivian Mokome joined Long Reach in South Africa, people follow. When Papa Solo joined Long Reach in Ghana, people follow. When we're not eating too long in, 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 in South Africa, uh, in Nigeria, people follow. So please, who are you that people should follow? People follow people. Please note it down. So please, the number one sale point in this era is you. It's you. I repeat, if you want, if you want any strategy that we should give you today to succeed in your business, it's about you. You. That's why I call it personal value. When you, you see, when you upgrade yourself and you package yourself, I'm telling you, people will follow you. Do you know I sit in my house and people tell me, I want to do what you're doing. What are you doing? That is prospects. I bring them on Zoom. I dazzle them and they join the business. Guys, 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 I know you are watching me. Whatever you are listening to me from on social media, on Facebook or on this Zoom. Hey, hey, people don't buy your business. People buy you. If it is for soap, there are a lot of soap in town. If it is for pad, there are a lot of pad in town. People follow people. Who are you? Who are you? 
That's why when the angel appeared to 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 Gideon, the first thing he said is, "Thou mighty man of valor." He addressed the personality before he sold him the business or the agenda. I want to encourage you in this pandemic. You have to build your capacity. You have to put yourself in in perspective because listen, competition is massive. Everybody is competing on social media. So you don't just go and put, I see other network companies, I don't want to mention their names. They say they'll put pad there, they'll put uh, soap there, they'll put toothpaste there. Look, if, I, if I'm a prospect, I will never join. Because you are telling me I should come and sell. But our business is not about selling. Our business is about building business. It's about developing people. It's about impact. It's about transformation. It's about financial freedom. So you have to position yourself to compete effectively. I'm bringing you this message. Everyone in Long Ridge Global, we are supposed to do the right thing because we have the best business. Very soon, Manatee will tell us something about the state of our factory, about the future of Long Ridge in Africa. Very soon, we will tell you her vision. But you need to know that competition is massive. Where are you competing? You can't just go on Facebook, on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, and just not be relevant. When you appear on Instagram, you should be a content. You should be a principality. People should see as a know this is something I need. Because I'm telling you, people are fed up. In Ghana, companies are shutting down. Banks are being consolidated. Employees are being laid off. And to do this, we need what? Advertising. We need to get traffic. And people think when you put your dress on Facebook, it's traffic. No. If I'm a businessman and I'm looking for a job, I won't go on Facebook and look for your dress. I'll, look, I'll go on Facebook and look for content. I go on Facebook and look for quality, look for resource, look for value, look for something that can change my life. And to do that, you need to get traffic. And to get traffic, it's not just by putting something though, it's by putting the right content and pushing to the right people. Because a lot of people are on social media for their own reasons. We are slave queens who are there, especially on Instagram. Some are there to just get sugar daddies, to get husbands, to get wives. Some are there to scam. So if you don't position yourself well, people will think we're a scammer. So it's all about traffic, the right traffic. It's all about advertising. And people think advertising on Facebook simply means pay money to Facebook. No, you are wasting money. The same way I went to the studio when I started Lawrence and I got a video. And I was giving it to my team to share, and it went viral. The same way we have come out with a strategy, a system, an advertising, so that whilst you are promoting your, your, yourself on Facebook, you are also getting your PVs, you are boosting your team, you are boosting your long read business, and of course, you are staying healthy. Because listen to me, if you are waiting for the pandemic to be over, for things to come back to normalcy, for you to go back to town, it won't happen. I told my wife, even if, even if Corona goes today, I will not be traveling that way I used to travel. It's risky. Every, every weekend I'm in the air. I'm in the air, in the plane. And there's no break. God forbid, if it crashes, eh? One day I was coming from Devon. From, from Devon to Johannesburg. Hey, that day, man, I didn't die. I told my wife, I won't die again. That's the first time I saw a plane wanting to land and took off again. You can imagine. And all of a sudden, within two seconds, I remembered everything in my life. Remember my kids. Remember my wife. Remember my sisters and my brother and my father. Just because... Just because the plane was about to crash, because PV, PV. Hey guys, the world has changed. Those the people that have flown the world and have been traveling around the world to go and meet, they are no more on the street. They are now online. Today, today, if I fly to Zambia, I won't meet anybody to talk to. Don't count for presentation. Where are they? They are online. But to do that, people think online means just go there and put your your picture there. No, people online. Listen, the new millionaire, the new billionaire is an online billionaire. Write it down. If you think the new billionaire is a street billionaire, you are late. The new rich is going to be created virtually. I'm telling the truth. Mark this words down. And listen to me. WHO has said it. That even schools should put in every structure they need to put in place to ensure that the school from home, online, virtually. Because listen, money follows attention. When you be able to, when you are able to structure your, 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 how do you call it, um, your advertisement well, money will follow you. Because listen, the reason why when you come to places like West Africa, especially Ghana and Nigeria, you see billboards all over town, all over on the street, is simply because they want attention. When you travel, you get to airport, you see a lot of you see a lot of billboards, a lot of billboards, a lot of billboards. You see a lot of uh, flyers, you see a lot of uh, banners because they want attention and money follows attention. Look, there are some pictures when I put on Facebook, I get money. 
I don't just put this on Facebook. I, I plan. I am deliberate. I am conscious. I program my messages. I put things on Facebook. Even my logo pays me. My logo. My logo pays me. Listen, if you are waiting for your president to tell you, go back to town. You see, you can go. You can go. But they are killing you. If you will not die, somebody close to you. Your children, look at how fragile they are. That is why you need to know. So what can I do? What should I put in place to be able to get the necessary attention virtually? Get attention from home in the comfort of my house. Ah, how beautiful it is to be doing presentation in your boxer shorts. Look at us though. He's wearing boxer shorts. Sitting there. You won't see. You only see his head. Like me, I'm not wearing shoes. But if it was normal one, I'll have been wearing my Santiago Dalitalo shoes. Classic with my walking stick. All this Wahala. Now, thank God for Corona. In the comfort of my home, every day I speak to over 500 people virtually. Every day I'm getting my babies. Guys, guys, yes, let's anticipate for the best. But hey, Brantisi said, on your way to anticipation, do the relevance. On your way to as you're anticipating for the thing to go down, don't wait. If you wait, oh, I'm waiting one day, one day to come. It can be 10 years later. What happens to your, to your feeling? What happens to your pocket? What happens to your life? So please, build your social proof to get attention. The reason why people go on Facebook and they are putting those products there, they don't get people to want to buy is that they're not, they don't have a social proof. Recently, a company looked at my profile. They invited me. They want me to speak to their workforce on Zoom. And I charge them. I send them an invoice because I created attention. Even my jacket, my suit, even the picture I will take, my positioning, the way I smile, the way I position my lips, is deliberate, is cautious, I plan it. And they are calling me. I get them invoice over $2,000. And they are, they are willing. Next week, I'm going to speak. In, the, in my household, I'm going nowhere. I will sit at home and speak and I'll talk the money. Guys, guys, build your social proof. The reason why a lot of network marketing people are jumping from one network to another is that they don't have social proof. Now there's this new one, there's blue leaf, there's whatever, there's that, there's this, there's that, and then people are jumping. You know why they're jumping? They don't have social proof. They don't have attention. Guys, guys, we are in days and in seasons and in times. We are in moments that, hey, people follow attention. The reason why Amazon is making so much money is because of attention. We're all here. Nokia was bluffing. Oh, don't worry. We'll do with semen. Don't worry. Now, where is Nokia? They said they we didn't do anything wrong. The only mistake we did was we didn't, we didn't move at the right time. Nokia missed it. Nokia missed it. So, please, you need to be able to increase your social proof. And to do that, you have to enhance your business to get attention. Enhance your business online. You don't go and put there, do you want to join me in long range? No. People are thinking of financial freedom. People are thinking of pockets. People are thinking of paying their bills. People are thinking of how to survive COVID-19. People are thinking of how to stay healthy. People are thinking of uh, how to get another alternative for, 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 for work. People are thinking of how to survive with their children, how to pay student school fees. These are things you address. You raise these issues and tell them you have something. Contact me. Then you bring them to Zoom. Else, if you put on Facebook, somebody can even comment. An evil person can comment and destroy your brand and your business. I'm telling you. So when you go on Facebook, for instance, my brand is Solomon Ababio Ajiman, or activated. Simple. But hey, all this activated, so my body is long rich. I'm telling you, it's long rich. But I will going to put there and say long rich join. Because one guy or one lady somewhere has gone to tarnish the image of long rich. So when I put it, they don't understand. So I'm now I'm now I'm doing a seminar for 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 people who want to retire. And now they don't even know how to retire because, hey, if they retire, they are money to retire. I tell you, ask something for them. How to stay proof. So please, attention is very, very important. And to do that, you need to enhance your social media proof. Okay? So please, do not be useless again on social media. A lot of people are useless on social media. They are just on social media because, hey, my friend is there. Oh, some, I know somebody who is there on social media to wish people happy birthday. You are wasting data and time. You are wasting your eyes. You are wasting your eyes. You are wasting your eyes. Do not be useless on social media. Any content you put on social media to bring income returns, financial returns, money. When I sell on rich, I saw that there was no presentation going on in Ghana. 
I quickly went to pay for a hotel. We started doing presentation. Later, management came in. They started paying. That is it. Now we can't do the same. Even that hotel has closed down. They closed down because nobody is going to come. But to do that, we had to activate a system, which was to pay the hotels, do seminars, share flyers, do promotions virtually and you know traditionally. And we fill the hall, we do presentation, over 80% of them join. We get PVs. But now the people can't come and sit down and watch us again. The only way we can then get the people is online. And to do that effectively, we have to position ourselves in the right social media spaces. Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, you know, Twitter, Facebook. Please, after this call, go and open accounts with Instagram. Go and open account with Facebook. Go and open account even with YouTube. Have a Twitter account because the world has changed. Don't sit down and watch us. We are going. The world has changed. Guys, my auntie says something. She said, hey, currently in Nigeria, even when, when there was a lockdown, there's product. Oh, there's product, but they're not even able to take the product because of the lockdown. God forbid, what if there's another lockdown? What if there's another pandemic? Because WHO is estimating that after this pandemic, there'll be another one. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm screaming all this is that we are missing the, the packaging of our business. Our business is actually, you know, what makes us competitive is that we are a home built business. Home built means you don't need office to make money, you don't need conference room to be able to make money. People should stay in their homes just on their smartphones and make money through long reach. That is the ingredient of long reach. And the same way I found a way when I started by getting that video out and what it used and it's help. I find another way that hey, you can just activate, be online, begin to sell your business, do your presentation, get your prospects, and you get your PVs along way promoting your brand as well. So, guys, guys, I really want you to know that um, yes, I want you to be on social media. And use social media to build but let's be patient do it patiently currently a lot of network marketing companies in ghana have shut down have shut down i'm telling the truth so I, I i don't want to mention names i'm online i mean um I, i'm in public and if you can open your eyes they're no more operating some who are operating the place is empty nothing's happening there we don't want the same for long range nokia said we did nothing wrong all we did was to foresee that Android was taking over. Guys, social media is taking over. We love you as leaders. We don't want you to be irrelevant in this new world, in this new normal. We have to do it. And to do that, we have to be very, very active on social media. Be active on social media doesn't mean be there every day, be liking people's dresses and birthday, wishing people birthday. Be active on social media means be influential, have a presence. When you put something there, it will, it will reach over 100 people. And uh, by people should comment, should share, should like. That is when you become viral. When you say I'm selling toothpaste, everybody will look, will chase you for it. So this new world presents us the father. Look, we need to be active, active on social media. To be active on social media. Yeah, because listen to me, before I, I hand over to Madam Titi to come and close us with what is ahead of us. Okay. Your business needs exposure. That's the that's all we are trying to tell you about. We don't want people to say, oh, I'm waiting for the lockdown to be over. No. Your business needs exposure. And to do that, you have to pay to play. And to pay Facebook, social media, to be able to get the exposure or to get the traffic is very expensive. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. But um, we are looking at getting a part two of this, of this, um, of this uh, presentation because I want to bring other leaders like Madame Oluchi, you know, and other SDs, Sheung, because we want to let you all drink out of us. Drink out of us. If you're in South Africa and you are listening to me, I want you to plug into Madame Vivi. She has something that it can enhance you, it can enhance you to be able to, 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 uh, how do you call it, um, to be relevant on social media and to promote yourself and to make more noise on social media. Just last two weeks alone, I have signed up over 23 people out of social media alone. 
to the three people without talking about long reach. How? If you're in South Africa, hook up with uh, uh, Vivian. If you're in um, Nigeria, Mantu will talk to you about it. If you're in Ghana, Ransdorf. But the good news is that, hey, guys, guys, the best way to, to change, I mean, the best way to run our business in times like this is not by using our conventional ways, it's by trying to be relevant in, in this moment. And to be relevant in this moment, we have to, we have to, we have to be open-minded. What is happening? I, I said something in my first ever video of Long Reach. I said something. I said, we have three people, those doing yesterday's things today, those doing today's things today, and those doing tomorrow's things today. For example, some people are still trying to do presentations, spreading corona. They are doing yesterday's things today. Some are trying to be adjusted to the day, their average. But hey, what is, it, what is going to happen tomorrow? What are we looking for tomorrow? What will, be to, what will tomorrow be like? Envision it and start doing it now. Before we close, we've done, I think, two hours already. Yes. I want to find out from our leaders, starting from Madam Titi. I have a last question I wrote here. I love that question so much. Yeah. Okay. So, Madam Titi, um, a quick one before I let you go. Um, uh, okay, good. It's here. So, Madam Titi, what is in for us post-COVID? Post COVID, what is in after COVID 19? What is in? I mean, our entity is number one in the world, if not Africa. We want to know from her what is in for us as a company, as individuals, and as Africans. We want to hear from her before we bring the meeting to a close. The beautiful ones are not yet born. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this is just the beginning of language. Wow. We are still a child learning. We are not yet independent. Yeah. We've not gone to, to, to our teenage years yet in, in Africa. So you've got a long way to go. This cup shall pass over. Only those that endure to the end will be saved. Trust me, if we all should go and do what to learn, apply what to learn today in your business, you will know that the sky will be a stepping stone. Manna has stopped falling from heaven. Mm. God replaced manna with rain. Legadabaya. Rain does not have protein, but does not have carbohydrates. <laughs> rain, rain is meant to make it grow. Mm. It only grows for those that are plants. It mm. is now time for us to go out there. Never, you should have a proper office. In your home, you should not break yourself as well. Time it, plan it, follow up on it. Nobody that, 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 that I mean, today, um, exactly, we know that Diamond won, that pre Diamond, I've engaged them already. They are training me. And I'm enjoying it. Wow. Because they are the ones that, that are taking over. They have an old lot ahead of them. If you are not given the chance, uh, Solomon, to train in the beginning, you still be down there, timid. Mm. We should let those ones also grow. The young should also grow. Give them the opportunity to grow, to express themselves, to go and learn. When you know that I will be in a training and you want to come and train me, you have to buckle up seriously. So it's so exciting to see them really speeding up with time. People that are just registration today are aspiring to make diamond four in three weeks, even in this COVID. Even in this normal, even in this reality, the future is massive, trust me. 
the future is really, really massive, and we all can achieve it. If you desire it so well, you will surely have it. Let your why be in your front. Put a why by your mirror. What is your why? Why are you in, why are you in here? We offer the best of, of all the worlds. You want to have a good health, be in Longbridge. It is time for you all to know that you have to take a calcium now. Long with calcium is rich in zinc. Zinc is so good, it helps your body to be able to fight against free particles like virals and bacteria and, and, and fungi. So don't ever underestimate the power of long with zinc and calcium now. It is time for us to go to the rules and start the business how it ought to, do, to be. Do it right. If you don't have a phone, you don't have an internet, you're not in language, you're not even in the business. So people tell me that a Zoom meeting is expensive. I tell, you, I, tell, I tell them, two hours Zoom meeting is not more than 500 naira, which is about just about $1. For your, for your, your Wi-Fi is about $1 for you to spend two hours on Zoom. So you don't have an excuse. You don't have an excuse not to start certain targets for yourself, certain goals for yourself. The train is on a very fast, it's a very fast train that we are on in language because we're not taking a no for an answer. We always conquer. In the beginning, it was tough, it was rough. We don't understand it. There was no money, there was nobody to show that there is success, that there's anything in language. We are able to put it and get it to this level. Today, we have a, a whole lot of testimonies to show in the product, in everything that long which really works. So what is stopping us? The future is bigger than, than today. See you all at the top. Wow, Mama Africa. Mama, thank you so much. I think before we let you go, after all of us three speaking, you give us a dessert before you go. So don't go yet. You give us a dessert. Oh, please. Oh. Five o'clock. Okay. I understand. I understand. And I, no, Mama, thank you so much. We appreciate you. I mean, it's. It, I'm even surprised you sat down to the end. Thank you so much. Thank you so we much. Blessed. I'm we very are sorry. Yeah. And hey, Mama, we love you so much. We love you so much. We love you so much. Love you so much. And we and we always look up to you. And we promise you, hey, we are going to build our reach to the core. Nobody will stop us. Corona can't stop us. My love to the family. Everybody. On behalf of everyone on the Zoom call, we say bye bye. We love you, Mama Africa. Bye, bye everybody. Love you so much. Vivian, mm -hmm. Dovi, Solomon, and the family, and all other leaders in the group today. I love you so much. And, I, and I'm seeing you next year, God's grace, during the launching of the factory. I'm talking about yeah. the launch of the factory. Solomon. Mm -hmm. You are a five star director. Mm. Vivian, Lega I will director. No stuffy. Don't be four star. If not, I will come and kill you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mama Africa. So, Mama Vivi, Vivi, um, we want you to 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 just briefly share with us what are the expectations post COVID nineteen. What are some of the expectations as a global team leader? Uh, for South Africa and then globally, what are the expectations post COVID 19? Vivi, over to you. Um, all right, new dawn. Uh, we are indeed about to take off. Um, mm. This is the beginning uh, of Long Reach and to my team in Southern Hemisphere because that's where I have most of the team that is dominating, uh, which is based in South Southern Hemisphere. I would like to encourage you and say we are about to take off. And to my leaders, be open to learning. Um, forget what you think you knew. Be open-minded. Mm. Um, network marketing is a profession. And like any other profession, it must be treated as such. Yeah. I've never seen a CEO of FNB advertising alcohol or showing us um, 
what he, he does over the weekend. Um, not that he wasn't partying over the weekend, but I've never seen him doing that. And no employee will ever drink during working hours. Am I right or wrong? So yeah. how we position ourselves on social media is very important and just take advantage of the fact that, that we are moving on an online space. Invest your, time, invest your money. And if there's a tool available and presented to you, not resist it. Take it and move your business to the next level. Um, I'm not sure how long this will last. And I'm not sure whether we'll go back to the, next, to the old ways of doing business. I'm not sure we'll ever do that. I'm not sure about that. But what I know is there are tools that are available that can help us run our business effectively and in an efficient way. The world evolves and we need to evolve as well as people. What used to work for us, what worked for us in 2018 might not work for us in 2020 and 2022. But we can do the same thing, the same thing that we did, but in a different way, using a different technology. Mm. All right. So I like to encourage my leader, be open-minded to learning, forget what you think you know, um, and rest assured, you have leaders that are thinking around the clock, planning, and trying to find ways of running our business. And we're not doing this for ourselves, um, but we're doing it for you. It pains yeah. me. It pains me when my team is not earning. I don't want to lie. It pains me. It pains me when I know that I'm getting paid on Friday, but not everyone in my team is earning. Because the fact of the matter is you join this platform to better your life. It's true. That's, yeah. So if my team is not earning, mm. you can be excited as a leader or a top leader or post your achievement when you know that the very same people that have made you, um, because the fact of the matter is we are made by our D1s, D2s, D3s and all that. So yeah. it pains me as a top leader knowing that because of the way my structure is done, I mean, I'm D3 about to be SD4 and how my system is structured, I will definitely get paid. But that should not excite me as a leader knowing that those who are there at the bottom are not any. Uh, I don't sleep at night knowing that. I get happy as a leader when my team flourish because their mm. success is a direct reflection in me. And that's why I will do whatever it takes to learn new ways of doing the business. And I'll also try as a leader to find effective way that I know that you'll benefit from my team. But what I will, I would like to say to my leaders, be open-minded to learning. We never stop learning. We're learning every day. Yeah. And col collaboration is the name of the new game. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. Ask. I mean, I always follow Pastor Solo, Papa Solo. I like what you're doing on Facebook. I like it. You know, I, I like how you post. Thank I you. have to go and invest my money as well because I don't just post anything on Facebook because I know that Facebook or social media is my office. Yeah. What I put in there, I am communicating with someone. And I agree with you, we can't just post for the sake of posting. We are in business. And if I want to attract pastors, professionals, I can't be posting J, we saying J in African <laughs> African language. <laughs> so guys, the tools are there. Let's yeah. be open to learning. Let's, um, it's a journey. Like any other journey, they are up and down, they are ups and down, but be ready to embark on this journey. All right, so in the next few weeks, I'll be looking on different ways that we can improve. TV network so far is doing well, and I'm also running mentorship program as well for new people. I'll also come up with tools that I believe it can help us, you know, to position ourselves better. I chose FNB because of the cultural fit. They met my standard and my requirement. I could have went to APSA and other banks, but I went for FNB. So we have to be as well as long reachers, the option for people to come and join us. You know, they cannot, people must say and be proud to say, 
I am associated with Vivian Mokome. I am associated with the brand language. And the only way they can say that how we position ourselves and how we market our business will be critical in the next wow. month. Wow. All right, that's it from me. Vivian, thank you so much. Wow, that's, that's a powerful speech. You know, Vivian, you are a speaker. You are, uh, uh, you are too powerful when it comes to speaking. God bless you so much. Vivian said something so, so intriguing. She said, she talked about tools, you know, having a tool to do the right thing. You know, I remember when I was in Las Vegas in February, I met my mentor. Um, he's a billionaire, Grant Cardone. And he said, hey, Solomon, if you want to make money, you just need tools. You know, in this era, we need tools. I mean, gone with those days when we're in school, we're using calculator. Then we started using typewriter. I mean, all these things are changing. I can't, now my kids don't use calculator. They don't use logbooks. They don't even use ruler. They have these apps that they use in their school to do, I mean, to, 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 to educate themselves. Same way, the way to do business it's not just by being on Facebook. There are ways to be there. And um, it's, it's not something that you need to um, leave your team to go and join another, another person's team before you can use the system or the tool. You just remain wherever you are, have access to the tool, and use it. If you're in the southern hemisphere, I mean, um, Vivian can hook you up and show you how it works. But hey, those of you who are watching me on Facebook here, as far as Facebook here, I don't touch the chat because people were putting other things there. So I blocked the chat. But those of you on Facebook, if you want a part two, a part two of this, of this, um, how do you call it, um, this uh, 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 video, this conference call, please just type, just indicate. In fact, I'm opening here now. I'm going to open here now. I'm going to open a Zoom call. Please chat. If you want a part two, just say, let part two come. We need part two. We need part two. Just type, we need part two. If you're on Facebook, just type, we need part two. If you are on Zoom, just type, we need part two. Because I think that we need to have a second session. And in that session, we'll give you practical tools. You do this for your team. Do this for yourself and start seeing your, your business flowing. I think it's not good to have something that is working as a leader and be selfish and keep it. So just put it there. If you want part two, I want to be sure you guys are interested. You want it on Facebook. Yes, just give the notification. We want part two on Zoom. Those of you on Zoom, I've unlocked you. Now you can chat. Don't put any other network there. If you want to chat, just type. I will, we want part two. If you don't want it, just indicate we don't want it. I want to be sure because I don't have time. And I want to be sure that I'm spending my time with the right people at the right place at the right time. Okay? Now, before we go, final words from the only military star director, the only employee star director, uh, Max Senior. But we want to find out, so what are the things that we should do post-COVID-19? Over to you, Dovi. Adolf. Okay. The papa. So, all too soon, the, we are about ending this call. And once again, I said, God bless everybody who made it the point, those on Facebook, to join us. Let me tell you something, okay? The journey you've embarked on is never going to be easy. If it is easy, I don't even think the long reach will reach Ghana, your country, wherever you are watching from. You just have to embrace the reality and know that, yes, the part two will come, and know that, it's going to work, and it will work. But you need to use the right tools, like Papa is saying, like Madam Vivian said, like Mama Titi said. We need the right tools currently to, to, to do our business. Don't be agitating to go and join something else. You see, the same way you are behaving in Long Beach, you are not going to take your downlines all to different company. You are taking you to that company. So you are the first person to be judged when things are not going well for you. Do you react to situations or do you respond to the situations? You need to respond than reacting. We are already in it. Everybody is in it. The PVs are online. How do I reach out to the masses? People are doing it. Just come closer. How are you doing it? 
In fact, if you are listening to me, type in the chat box, system, the system. If you can hear me loud and clear, type in the chat box. If you're on Facebook, comment the comment section, type the system. You don't have a system. Like I said last, at the activate, uh, activate uh, tech studio that, activation studio that, the systems you do have is the reason why you need to put the systems in place. You've seen same results uh, till the same day. You are not, you are, the results are not going up and down. That should tell you that I'm doing something wrong. You need to be provoked post-COVID. You need to be provoked without provocation against your current situation. You can never be activated. You can never be inspired. You can never be motivated. You should, you should be provoked to readjust your work ethics. Forget about talent. I know I don't have talent. The very first day I know I don't have talent, I become obsessed. I become provoked. So if you have talent, imagine Messi didn't work on his talent. This is no motivation. I just want, I'm telling you the reality. Imagine Papa have the sales skills and talent, but he's not consistent. His work ethics are poor. He worked today, Madam Vivian worked today, you go and sleep, she go and sleep two days, two, four, five weeks before she will come. You think she'll be a three star or four star or who, wherever she wants to go. You need to readjust your, your, even if you have the system and your work ethics are not up, you are not consistent with it, it will not work for you. Because the system must be monitored, the system must be, be, be engaged. You need to even work by learning the system. Having the system is not enough. Do you have enough knowledge to operate the system? Yeah. That is why you need to get in the contact Papa Solo, contact Mama Titi, contact Mrs. Uh, 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 Mokume. Mokume will say, I don't know how to, pro to pronounce it. So, ladies and gentlemen, post COVID, we are here. Long Beach is what we sign up for. The God Almighty who has picked us from the one and we are here today, he said what? He's giving us the vision. He's giving us the way forward. Let's get the right tools. Get in touch if you want to know how these two work. What is the system about? How are you going to go about it? Please, feel free. Any of the leaders you think you are conversant, you are, you are okay talking to, if it's myself, you can inbox me. And will teach you how the system works. You need to, you need that attention on social media. That is where the world is a different world on its own. You can't go there, you are diamond five, diamond four. You can't go there and you cannot sell deals. You need a way. You have a, you have the way out. Come for mm. two. Sell mm. those deals. Yeah. Get those VIPs. Get those PVs. Forget about the, the CVs. Go for the PVs. Mm. The TV are in someone's pocket. Yaba. The keys are the keys are here. You need those keys too. You see, you some of you purpose you are using hammer, you are using cut glass to open doors. How possible? You need the right to even if you have the key and the key cannot fit into the door, it cannot open. Mm. So you need the right tools, you need the, the right, right key. key. The right key. For the right door, you need attention. Attention is money. If people don't, you don't get attention, how will people say, what do you do? How will people even ask you, how do I join you? Do you understand? So you need those systems and now work on yourself. It's not about, I want to join four companies, three companies, five companies at the same time. Are you capable? Do you have the capacity? Do you have the shoulders? How many people do you prospect a day? How many people, how many calls can you make a day that you are there and you say you want to join five companies, two companies? Be truthful to yourself and the people looking up to you. Speak the truth. Don't go and lie to people about things that are, uh, you know will not work. Any strategy you are going to adopt, that is not duplicable. Please don't try it. If you alone, you can do it. And the rest of the people in your team or the people you are leading cannot make it. Cannot duplicate the same. Please think twice. God loves you. God bless you, Papa Solo, mm. Madam Vivian, Madam Titi, wherever you are. May the good Lord who put mm. on your heart Amen. always reach out to the people. Amen. Strengthen you. No matter how people are talking about you, and people will surely talk about you. 
What Thank you, boss. That people are hating you, people are insulting you. Be prepared for times 10. The more you are 10s in your PV, the, the more the, the insult will 10s against you. Thank you, Razdov. And you should strengthen yourself in the Lord God by God who gave you the vision. God bless you so much. God bless everybody on this call. The PVs are there. Do away with the TVs, the CVs, and let's go for the PVs. God bless you all. All right. Razdov, 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 Razdov. Vivian Bokome, God bless you all. Hey, guys, I'm so grateful. You, We have been speaking for the past three hours. Three hours. I mean, this lunch, this is the only lunch, the only virtual lunch that we can sit down with millionaires globally and have lunch for three good hours. Guys, I'm so, so grateful and thankful to you all. Listen to me. If you forget everything here, never forget this. Money has left the street. Money is now online. Strategic positioning is what will make you get the money. As you are going, I want to let you know one thing. Don't just go, but go and apply everything you have learned. The world is about to hear of Long Reach. Long Reach, the future is so bright, is so big, is so excited. We are here to liberate women, children, men, adults. Hey, Long Reach is here for the rescue. Guys, don't be in hurry to stop this business. The best is yet to come. I want to thank you all, all over the world, those from South Africa, those from Zambia, Swaziland, Kenya, Cameroon, Abikos, Nigeria. Hey, wherever you are watching me from, God bless you. I love you all. We want to say, hey, we are going further. If you are watching me on Facebook Live, just type activated part two. We want part two. If you want part two, let us know because I want us to do again because Vivian has a lot to say. Vivian needs like three hours now. Stop. Manatiti needs like three hours. After us, though, we need five hours. If you want the second session, the second episode, just type, we need part two. Guys, my name is your chief servant, the business apostle. I am a spiritual entrepreneur. I am a marketplace apostle. I am anointed and called by God to serve and to in touch lives. I love you all. My name again is Omar Abio. See you when the eagles fly because that is when you see me. Bye-bye to everyone. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> before you go, I'm talking the audio. Just just begin to talk. Just begin to talk. I want to hear everyone out there. I want to hear everyone. Do your song. Begin to make noise. Oh, it's oh, 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 o